Woo! Grow gang, what it do? What it do? I little bud. Grow gang, what it do? Oh my god. I done damn near I done neglected this damn channel, boy. But we got a fire grow update on the way. I got two weeks of footage logged in, saved up, and I'm getting the last clips tomorrow. And we're gonna um, drop a grow update either tomorrow or Sunday. Monday at the latest. Gonna have a big, a big, long, fire ass grow update. Like I say, like Monday at the latest, man. Y'all go get to see the plants get through the full stretch. I got the whole stretch recorded. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna try to get back into the weekly updates, but I kind of like making the content that you can actually see growth you know what i mean from one period to the next it's cool just watching them blow up and you don't see growth on a weekly update on a weekly update you know what i'm saying and if people not following on along weekly you ain't gonna see the mother growth at all but yeah we got the whole stretch logged out shit dope plants looking good you know what i'm saying they thriving see it seemed like we might make another horse and let me, am I, man, I hope I'm, yeah, okay. Live on the right channel, we here, we here, we here, we here, we here, we here, we here. So yeah, man, we're going to smoke up, catch up, see what's going on on the growth side of town. I'm all the way out the motherfucking loop, but I know my dog Macho got something for me. Yeah, I know my bro Macho got something for me. Let's see. This man talking about an indoor eclipse. Oh my God, if he fuck, bro. If bro put that goddamn clip that I seen from Instagram in this video, I'm a motherfucker die laughing. Oh shit, alright. If you are not over 18, stop right there. Put your phone down. Do not take pics or screenshots. Stop such a shit. Do not pass go. And can somebody please come get this damn baby? We not good. My dog. My dog got weed now, boy. Let's get it. Everybody, yeah. give yourselves a round of applause for kicking ass another week. Let's go. DJ Milk, what it is, boy? Hell yeah, shit. Starting off the show, man. Did everybody catch the clips? Well, I hope some of y'all did. But I gave my plants an eclipse, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, getting right into the grow. Stupid I'm looking ass, at man. my Boondocks Glue Autos from Zaza Genetics. And you can yes. see the one on my right right here. She's already budding up. She's already full into flower. She's already going. She hit her stretch. And she's already about to hit Don't that light up there. The this tent is about five feet tall. And she's almost up there. She's about four and a half right now. But they're both looking real good. And my girls down here, my babies. Yeah, you can see my clones and they're moving along just fine. But Clown two of my wrench clones, man, I had to <coughs> take them out. They didn't make it. And not too sure what happened with them, man, but they didn't pull through. You know, I tried to nurse them all the way. But I got some other ones and they're going strong. Looking at my Spider Farmer 2x2. Two and you can see these girls, they're not really stretching out too much more. They already hit their height. Damn. They're more focused on butt production now, so I'm starting to notice them, starting to swell up. The, the nose is starting to kick in a little bit more. She's starting to pick up that lemon, that gas smell. Jesus! Yeah, she... Whoa! Whoa! B bro! Nigga, you... Nigga! Bro, what the fuck is you feeding your plants? These stalks and stems look crazy, B. What the fuck? Yes, man. But yeah, she's been doing good. You know, she's pulling through. She's doing real good. This nigga pull up. You know, she's not going as fast as my other ones, but she's doing good. They're both doing all right. In case y'all forgot, these are Back to the Future from Taste Buzz Genetics. So shout out to Taste Buzz Genetics. These girls are looking real good. Taste Buzz, I ain't baby. had no problems with these plants. Like I ain't had no problems. 
No. Cause. I wish I got that phenotype that you had, boy. The phenotype that I had, the phenotype that I had was fucking a bitch. That motherfucker did not want to be happy. From seed to harvest, it did not want to be happy. It, I, it just didn't want to be. But that ended up being some of the best goddamn weed I tasted, though. God, somebody, the end goal. Nigga, the end goal was fucking fire, cuz. There's no nothing, you know. Everything's been going along real good. The only problem that I had with the grow is just myself. You know, I put, I put too much in here, and that's what's slowing them down, cuz look at this one over here. Same girl, back to the future. Planned it on the same day, but you can see how fast she's moving. And this one too, back to the future also. This was uh, planned it a little bit different, but yeah, you can see these girls, they all moving along fine. This is my Sunday batter right here. And Ooh. she's being grown in an aeroponic style, along with another back to the future. It's Sunday. So you can see this one right here, she's budding up. She's already into her Three and a short. half, fourth week of flower. Yeah, she yeah, you see, she's coming along. She's looking real nice. She's smelling real good. Woo. That was her that was picking up that smell. And yeah. Yeah, that Sunday gonna smell. This is my Back to the Future also. Grown that aero. Sunday gonna smell every time. Aeroponic style. And, and this one really hit a long stretch. Really long stretch. I didn't top her. I'm gonna end up pulling up the tape measure to see exactly how long she is. But, man. Look at this one over here. That's something like it's the to the future. Time. She was planted the same day as my other two in the two by two. That future one is fast. Long she's coming. She's moving a lot faster and she's getting closer to that finish line. Eight weeks. She's smelling real strong. She's smelling real good. Yeah, that's gonna be an eight weeker right there. Good. She's looking real good. She's producing <coughs> some nice buds. She's got some nice structure going. She still got more time to finish. She still got a couple more weeks, and man, can't wait. Everything around here is looking real good. This two by four is producing some nice, nice buds. The way she's looking and smelling, I think I want to grow her again. But I'm gonna have to train her from the get go, from the start, to try to keep her shorter. Cause now I know this one's a stretcher. She really likes to get big. She really likes to get tall. She's got some real long legs on her. Yeah, she got some this. legs, boy. Yeah, man. That girl got them legs. God damn, she definitely got some legs on. I see where you trained it out and had to lay them down. Damn, look like you super cropped them a little bit. But I tell you what, though. She's a tall one. On top of being tall, I do got her sitting on it. You smoked the training for shit, for it being your first time. You smoked that shit. Infinity self-watering base, so... That makes it a little bit taller, about three inches more, I believe. Hey. But yeah, that's this week's update, man. Appreciate y'all for staying to the end. Hey. You know, I'm sharing my grow with y'all, so appreciate y'all time, sharing y'all time with me. And as you can see right here, I got my next run set up, man. Got Let's my list it. going. I know what I'm going to grow for my next run. Man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. I had these beans, a couple beans I had for a while. Yeah. I had some new beans. Hello, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Panoa Glue Skies, hella high. Shoot your boy one of them on heat. I know my dog gonna watch this shit back. That's what I want know. Like, I know my burger gonna watch this shit. Hey, bro. Shoot your boy, goddamn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, take your time on that care pack, thug. <laughs> take your time on that care pack, thug. Don't even rush that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. And some sponsored beans, so, man, I can't wait. Jeez. I hope y'all can't wait, too, man. Hope y'all. This man that got sponsored already, bro. I'm fucking. I feel like I got the sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? I'm proud of that shit. God damn. I don't want to ride all my brother's success, but nigga, fuck that, nigga. We did this shit, bro. Bro, stepped out of that did this motherfucking thing. Subbed up, like, got sponsors already. With l fucking ain't got 200 subscribers yet. And I know the content finna start taking off. Like, how long? How long you been going? Mm, as soon, I'm telling you. As soon as he start posting the thumbnails, and it's like actual flowers and budded up. They're going to rest in there. Because that's the thing about the grow game. Like, 
with as far as growing content go, all my biggest numbers come from being a flower. You know what I'm saying? Folks want to see flowers. Like, early flower, yeah, I be struggling. Nigga, late flower, booming. You know what I'm saying? Veg is like, shit. I don't think I got a veg video with decent numbers on it, but all the motherfucking flowers, once you get in, show no flower time, and that's, he right around the corner. That damn channel from the take off. Yeah, that boy trying to finna take off. See, I guarantee you by the summertime, that man gonna be walking down that first thousand. Yeah, already getting sponsorships. That shit tough as hell, boy. God, damn, bro, I got no more. Damn. I thought I at least had about two of them. <laughs> thought I at least had about two of them to catch up on. Let me see who else got damn growing in the motherfucker grow gang. I damn sure got some fire on the way, dog. I'm happy as hell. I'm running my own strings, but I'm ready to get back in them packs too. I'm so ready to pop some. Well, I've I, the my more the newest run is a new seeds. It's all new beans. Ain't none of my strings. But shit, I still got a whole another four five weeks for them motherfuckers going in the flower. Like I'm sitting here now trying to. Man, it's how the fuck I'm going to keep them small for that long. And I got a transplant this weekend. After that transplant, man. This bitch is finna take over. Ooh, grow under the stairs. What the hell uh, the girl under the stairs got going? And we gotta check out this uh a song I recorded last night. Damn, bro. Well, he got two I ain't seen. I managed to see the one in between this one and the one from nine months ago. So bang, twelve different plants. Hell yeah, we definitely got some weed porn lined up. Hell yeah, I'm gonna end up running this back for the audio, but I wanna hear this song I recorded last night now. Nah. Motherfucker ears buzzing for some music. Bad. It ain't in here. This song called Soldier Boy. Don't ask me why I made this motherfucker. That's just how I was feeling last night, cuz. Why me crack that soldier boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bubble, boy, I'll get you some rich dick. Why me crack that soldier boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bubble, boy, I'll get you some rich dick. Wait, big dick, baby. Try and turn that pussy to a picnic, baby. Thin and thick, I don't give a shit, better get your lady uh, In the mind, I take up time to how I drive her crazy uh, Next I'm riding straight to the heart and I got it racing She can feel it all in her gut and drop to the basement You know I ain't leaving the spot till her knees shaking Walk in the door, she turn around butt naked I ain't even gotta say shit Mind, body, soul, usually my destination Was born for this shit, I don't need preparation I get total control after the stimulation Then she get codependent and start I fear and separation Never said I knew everything But this one here I know She won't never find another nigga like me for sure I ain't finna be in your face all day little baby on the go Whoa. Coming back soon as I get that motherfucking dough why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Lil' mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama. I don't miss. Break your little baby, boy. I'll get you some rich dick. Why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Lil' mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama. I don't miss. Break up with that bro boy. Get you some red dick. Hey. She put that dress on, got that ass looking fat. Mm -hmm. I left my wallet and my shirt on coming back. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're around town. We don't want to brought them packs in. Last weekend, I was with cool them back in. Kicked it with my OG. I had to see my dog again. Nigga told me do it, bitch. Fuck it, now I'm Shaq twin. Too busy winning to be worried about that hate hey, shit. And it's still mob only. No time for no fake. Shit. Still show a lot of little fuck niggas still hating that being high wool. Fuck it. 
and I'm still talking cheddar. Bad woods on the dresser. Yeah, I want me a Tesla. Tell your bitch I want to wrestle. Bite her on her neck, bet I make her wet. Mm hmm. If she fuck with you, she ain't you nothing yet. Real van shit, 520 AM on the jet. Big van shit, I sent her home, bleeding out of neck. Why me crack that soul? Why I'm sick, so can you bitch? Lil' mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that broke boy, I'll get you some rich dick. Ay. Why me crack that soul? Why I'm sick, so can you bitch? Lil' mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that broke boy, I'll get you some rich dick. Ay. Why me crack that soul? Why I'm sick, so can you bitch? Lil' mama like my things. That's all right, I like that one. I'm gonna I'm play that. I'm gonna run that bitch in the house. Oh, yeah! Welcome to the show. I'm your host, the Big Daddy Bugs. Yeah, and my co host, Alfred Frost. Alfred Frost, why not? And you stopping by? Well, John, it's no evening. <laughs> no, the ground that is dead. Let's get into it. Yeah! Mm. It is. <laughs> You're gonna be seeing a lot of that beautiful footage in this video because coming up, uh, <laughs> the final video of this series is upon us. So the yeah. best season ever. It's a pretty good one, and along with that, we got a lot of plants to show. A you. lot of trimming to showcase. A lot of nugs to go over. Look at. Damn. I know. Twelve, in fact, different cultivars were ran in this series. Six of them organically, six of them synthetically. So variety and different nut structures are about to be your friend. Now, this ain't gonna be just no regular old video. This one's special. That's a fact. So the nugs will be displayed in a special way. <laughs> Look at your stupid face. That's right. You get to see a little bit of a naked face, Big Daddy Buds in this. Had an awesome weekend doing Alaska stuff with my cousin and his co-workers. Sounds like the start of Brokeback Mountain. Oh, oh no. Did y'all see? <laughs> Oh no. Bed. Come on. So I'll be sprinkling a little bit of that footage for you through this video. Your whole hands. Break up some of that learning with a little bit of silliness. You know how we do over here. Also in this video, I'm gonna touch on how I dry these plants. It's the same way you guys dried each other at the cabin. <laughs> Grow up, Alfred. Grow up. And my plan for curing. Is it the same way you guys cured each other? Don't shut the <laughs> the bro, shut hey, up. Bro. I'm just trying to get some context. You, that's all. You, you just jealous you ain't go. No, don't flatter yourself. That's no. what you just jealous you wasn't there. No, I don't like men like that. But listen, you don't even gotta be jealous. I got footage. Go ahead, drop that OnlyFans link. No, no, some beautiful drone footage courtesy of my cousin's co worker, Brian. So that's his name. I'll be dropping that on screen for you. You're gonna feel like you're there. That said, I know that's not what you're here for. You're here for the harvest. Yeah. Scrolling on screen are the guesses of the Patreon members. As far as how much weight they think we pulled in this run. At the end, we're gonna announce that number and pick a winner. But for now, let's get to some learning. Drying one-on-one, baby. Now what Brian whispered in your ear. Alfred, be serious for a second. Time to dry one-on-one, <laughs> big daddy. Yo, stop. Stop, Alfred. For the drying process, the numbers I aim for are 60% relative humidity and a temperature of around 60 Fahrenheit. While you can't hang the whole hey. plant to dry. <laughs> Control the high humidity by having a whole room dehumidifier set to 60. In contrast, if my humidity's too low, I use the old pot of dirt that these plants came from. Add a little water to them and place them inside the room. In both scenarios, I always have a rotating fan in the bottom of the tent circulating the air for me. Just make sure that it's not hitting the nugs or it will dry your weed too fast. Yeah. Quick tip if you live in a place where the humidity is normally too low, it's probably best to hang the plant whole and not to trim off all of the fan in order to slow down the drying process. The opposite is true. A good window to aim for as far as drying time is 7 to 14 days. My plants tend to land around that 10 range. Now since this video is about the harvest, it is important for us to check out where the plants were harvested from. On screen, the space you've been observing is our oversized 2x4 housing 5 of the 6 organic plants that we have. I usually start day seven or eight, and I train like one plant a day <laughs> until I get finished. And whenever I get finished, I just get fucking finished. But yeah, I usually train about like I start around like day seven to eight, and it's usually one that's ready to be trimmed. Around, you know what I'm saying? It's usually one that dry out faster than the rest, so I get that one and leave the rest in there, and you know what I'm saying, get the rest of time and do it like that. 
G4500 from sponsors of the channel, Spider Farmer, was delighted. Luke. What you don't want to do is try to goddamn put the moisture back into the buds by putting a humidifier in there while the weed with is drying. You don't want to do that. You're pretty much going to guarantee yourself some bud rot. At most 80% power was power, what I was power. running it at. Quick list of some of the organic inputs that we use were just on screen for you viewing pleasure. However, for more details on this, check out the full series. One week before flower, week number three and week number five are when we decided to top dress these ladies. We did the same with the sixth plant that we have upstairs in its own tent. As we move on oh, to the six plants that we ran synthetically now. Now don't lose your patience. We're going to get to the nugs right now. I think it's important for you to know where they came from. We all have a path. We do, Alfred. That we do. Another crazy. oversized 2x4 tent was used for this space. However, instead of the one light, we chose to run two different lights for this synthetic side. Each of them also ran at 80% power. As far as nutrients, what we used was Jack's 321 formula. Late flower, we went ahead and added their finished formula. <laughs> we did supplement silica for the full growth. And the last two weeks, just fed plain old tap water. Yeah. Grow six site air cube system was used to automatically water this side. We replaced the I'm reservoir every week. Again, point. all of this detail through the series, discount code Alfred should save you a little bit of money should you choose to run any of the same equipment I'm running. The links to everything that I'm mentioning down below at the description. Important to note that this side was cut at week 10 of flowers, whereas the organic was cut at week number 9. So move on! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've been learning a little something, something. That's something else, Brian. Oh, whispered in your ear. Bro, what? Hope you're learning. Damn. Get out of here, dog. <laughs> you do got the fire. Hell yeah. Hey, yeah. Uh, drive safe. Don't drive. <laughs> I'm finna say drive safely. Hell yeah. I'm gonna make me some of them next harvest. Basically, what he do is, what they do is, right? They get a nug, and where my key fit? <laughs> they get a nug, and they roll it around in the rosin that you press from the weed. Like if you take a, a, a hair iron or a heat press, and you press the weed, like, like you cut a tree and the sap run out, basically, boom, they roll it around in that shit, the weed, or damn, this ain't even my job with the key fit in it. I got a big ass and like the little sparkly shits. All the little frosties. That's what's all on it. It's just like this the frosty shit that's on the we leaves. We Whoa. All that frosty stuff that's on the leaves and on the bud. That's what's like, you know what I'm saying, covered up on top of the weeds. So it, it yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, you got your good old fashioned moon reezy. Damn. I wanted to make me one last harvest, but I didn't. Well, shit, I, st I still can. I just never take the time to do the shit. I still can make me one. I just never take the time to do so. But I tell you what, but I'm like, hey, woo, that's nighttime. You know what I'm saying? That's some nighttime shit. Make sure you get on that at the end of the day. Yo, make sure you get on that at the end of the day. That's that's nighttime shit only. Because your ass going to be, whatever you were doing, you're going to be just like this for the rest of the day. <laughs> Probably eating whatever the fuck you cook. The money should you choose to run any other same equipment I'm Yeah, the Frosties. Yeah. And of course, after it's harvested, it turns into a, into the color that you see on it. You know what I mean? But that's all it is, a whole bunch of that caked up on the weed. Running. The links to everything that I'm mentioning down below at the description. Important to note that this side was cut at week 10 of flowers, whereas the organic was cut at week number 9. And those are called trichomes. Move on! <laughs> <laughs> Hope you've been learning a little something, something. That's something else, Brian. That's on the bud. They done got some good ass, big, pretty ass buds over there. That's why I'm ready to pop some new seeds, man. Right, but I'm about ready to see. Well, see, I got some fire over here right now. I got some shit that's turning purple. Oh, ready. That bitch started turning purple week three. I cannot wait to see that whole round week seven, eight. You know what I'm saying? Getting closer to harvest. It's already turning purple. Nah, like. Boy, there's some good shit out here, man. In your ear. Bro, what? Hope you're learning a little something. Get out of here, dog. A lot of bad weed, too. That's why you got to get in with the growers at all times. Make sure you get in with the growers, man. A lot of bad shit going on, too. What's wrong with you, man?
For trimming, I like to have gloves, a cup full of alcohol, various trimming shears, along with a napkin so that I can switch easily from one to the other as they get gumped up. Not mess up my flow rate, you know what I mean? Well, let your prostate do that. Now, that is, in fact, the trim bin gotcha. that I'm using. Gotcha, for gotcha, gotcha, you got, um, it's about like, I got about like a half left to share, about like a half ounce left to share. You know what I'm saying? I got a little bit left to share. And another harvest, I got some more coming down and like two, no, 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 no. I'm, I got some more coming down and this time next month, this time next month I have a whole nother plant. And a week after that, I have another plant of it because I, I had cut me two clones of it to make sure I have some, you know what I'm saying? Make sure I have some around. But hell yeah, I got a little, I got a little bit on me. That motherfucker back gone though, cause that's my night, that's my sleeping medicine right there. I ain't gonna lie, that shit, that bus life been my sleep medicine. I don't even smoke that shit in the daytime, dog. Yeah, it, go with it. That 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 be got a perfect name. It gonna bust your motherfucking head too. It's crazy. That's that's what I had said. We were got there, we were chilling and shit. I was like, yeah, but we gonna put one together. You know what I'm saying? Call that shit, that bust life OG. That shit gonna bust your motherfucking head. And that's exactly what it do. I smoke one of them, dog. It's shit. Nap time. Like, and it's such a pleasurable smoking experience because the shit tastes so good. It tastes so good. It's fruity and it's like, it's fruity as shit. And it got that dank on the back end. You know what I mean? It's definitely all the terpenes I like. And not i i haven't it's not much that i don't like about it other than it took a it took a nice little while for it to cure but now that it said it's you know what i'm saying now that it said it's curing point like man that's my damn sleep medicine for real for real i hit one of them motherfuckers 30 minutes later <laughs> out of here i i literally have to be smoking that shit on string Cause you know what I'm saying, up this motherfucker with these monitors and the lights in my face and the microphone, like shit, that shit, that shit give me energy. It's gonna keep me up alone. I smoke one of them bus life OGs, and I ain't streaming. Man, look, I ain't survived one of them motherfuckers yet. <laughs> oh God, and my stupid ass wanted to smoke one midday yesterday, trying to test the theory, trying to try it. I was a goddamn zombie the whole time I was out grocery shopping because we went out grocery shopping, got some food, got some drinks for the motherfucker house, and by the time I came in, made me something to eat, and I was done. Woke up last, I woke up last night, everybody was motherfucking sleep and getting in the bed, and I was up looking crazy. That's how I made that damn song. Yep, matter of fact, I'm gonna play that bitch again, cause that bitch hit, and I ain't gonna lie, just the first verse. That shit hard. That shit Why me crack that soul? Why I'm too soaking this bitch? Lil' mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bro, boy, I can get you some rich dick. Why me crack that soul? Why I'm too soaking this bitch? Lil' mama like my things. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bro, boy, I can get you some rich dick. That big dick, that. Baby, try and turn that pussy to a picnic, baby Thin and thick, I don't give a shit, better get your lady uh. In the mind, I take up time to how I drive her crazy uh. Next one riding straight to the heart and I got it racing She can feel it all in her gut and drop to the basement You know I ain't leaving the spot till her knees shaking Walk in the door, she turn around butt naked I ain't even gotta say shit Mind, body, soul, usually my destination Was born for this shit, I don't need preparation I get total control after the stimulation Then she get codependent and start Fear and separation Never said I knew everything But this one here I know She won't never find another nigga like me for sure I Ain't finna be in her face all day Lil' baby on the go Whoa. Coming back soon as I get that motherfucking dough Why me crack that soul Why I'm too soaking this bitch Lil' mama like my fans I think she wanna get bitch I ain't hit you back to back Mama I don't miss Back up with that boy boy I can get you some rich dick bitch. Why me crack that soul Why I'm too soaking this bitch Lil' mama like my fans I think she wanna get bit. 
Ay, hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss you. Break up with that bro boy, get you some rich Ay, dick. Ay. She put that dress on, got that ass looking fat. Mm-hmm. I love my wallet and my shirt, I'm coming back. Mm-hmm. Ay, we're around town, we don't wanna buy them packs in. Last weekend, I was with Cool and back in. Kicked it with my OG, I had to see my dog again. Nigga told me, do it, be it, fuck it, now I'm Shaq twin. Too busy winning to be worried about that hate shit. And it's still mob, I only no time for no fake shit. Still show a lot of love, fuck niggas still hating that being high wood. Fuck it. And I'm still talking cheddar, backwoods on the dresser. Yeah, I want me a Tesla. Tell your bitch I want wrestle. Bite her on the neck, bet I make her wet. Mm-hmm. If she fuck with you, she ain't you nothing yet. Real van shit, 520 AM on the jet. Big van shit, I sent her home bleeding out of neck. Why me crack that soul? Why I'm super soaking this bitch? Little mama like Why my fans. I think she wanna get bit. Baby. I hit you back to back, Bye. mama. Bye. Baby. Break up with that bro boy, I'll get you some Whoa. rich dick, dick. Why me crack that soul, I'm too soaking this bitch Little mama like, like my fans, I think she wanna get bit I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss what? Break up with that bro boy, I'll get you some rich Ay. dick Ay. Why me crack that soul, I'ma get some my, look Yeah, that's what we doing That's what I'm on all summer Vampire David, all summer, I'm bringing the fans out I'm bringing the fans out all summer, I ain't even hiding them and I'm biting motherfuckers straight on the neck. <laughs> I'm biting, boy. I walk past me, smell good, you want to. I'm bite you right on the neck. I'm baffing out. Yeah, that's when I'm on all song. Bring the fangs out. Term okay. storage and curing. I prefer mason jars for the ladies. Oh, starting our plant review section with this beautiful lady right Bro, this man, he keeps on fire. He keeps on fire in his garden, bro. When I was popping beans, we were damn near growing the same shit. That's how I found this channel. Cause it was I, I forgot what the fuck I forgot what the fuck it was, what strain I was looking up, or how I even came across him. But obviously the man content speak for itself, man. Dude, <laughs> dude, funny than a motherfucker, legit, man. He's one of the most entertaining YouTubers. We decide like, shit, this man just make you entertaining ass videos. You know what I'm saying? Content creator, the content creator, this motherfucker cold-blooded, you know what I mean? So, hell yeah, after I started watching, I'm like, hell yeah, but I noticed we were growing a whole, we were growing a lot of the same strings, and I seen he had fucked around and found that, um, what was it? What the fuck was it? That frozen bag. He found that fro. I bet you he could tell you about frozen bag. <laughs> he found that frozen bag, shit. And um, I forgot what it was. I left a comment on the video. He showed some love, or either uh, I reacted to one of his videos, and he showed some love on the on the video that I reacted to. But dude, cool than a motherfucker, man. Grow cool than a motherfucker. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the flying Hawaiian <laughs> from my good people over there at J Dirt Exotics. Oh yeah. <laughs> Now this plant was a gift, originally a clone from Belize. Uh, uh, uh. Sales price of five hundred dollars, oh and my for God. sure gave us the most problems this run. I said, you know you the shit, hey, goddamn good, yeah. Hi, Miss Parker. Parker. We gonna let me fuck. Do you recall the earlier weeks of flower for this plant? We're filled with yellowing leaves and troubleshooting. And while the troubleshooting didn't work, the plant eventually did come around. That's right, Alfred. Tell us a little bit more. Thank you, Big Daddy. This is a high-value item that is also a first-time run for this channel. Say word. I'm telling you, it's going to be a collectible. So you want to make sure you get on those phone lines before you... All right, enough of that. I like when we roll back. Yeah, it's fun, man. Yeah. Is it fun for you and Brian and Ralphie? All right, all right. Stop, stop. stop. I know where you're going. Stop. Anyway, if you've never seen any weed being trimmed before, this is kind of the process of it. Once I've determined that it's dry, I understand. I'll go ahead and separate some of the lower nuts, as you saw in the previous clip. As far as how to trim, if you're able to get to the stem of the leaf that you're trying to chop, that'd be the preferred method. But if not, right, clipping right. the tip of each leaf individually might be what you have to do. A combination yep. of both techniques is usually warranted. So how do I determine when my weed is dry? When it feels like your mom's vagina. Damn. <laughs> they made me tripping, bro. That's my Why? dog. Why? Just there. 
that? Like, why? The joke was just there, bro. I used to check for the snap of the stem. Now I just wait. Growler always, he always let his intrusive thoughts win. <laughs> but they be funny, so it's cool. I be wanting to let my intrusive thoughts win so bad. <laughs> I can't, man. This shit suck. Motherfucker gonna get... I can't. Until it's ready. Oh, come on! <laughs> bro, that's what I... I just wait till it's perfect, bro. Explain the thing! I don't, I don't know what to tell you, you're bro. Not look at it. Not, till it looks like you that, You gotta bro. say what it that's is. That's when that I know it's ready, bro. But you're not helping <laughs> but nobody. You, bro, this is 4K, bro. Look at it right there when it look like that. It's ready, dog. Like, what is nah, it? dog. Nah. You know, I, all right, you know, fine. I'll try my best on the next plan. I'm taking my life back! But don't you dare? Now for those Damn. unaware, the stuff you took off of the nut is what's known as trim. Is that what Brian? Ow! Ow! And in our case, we got some pretty good ones. Uncalled Dispensaries here even sell pre-rolls of trim. So bang, that's the shit that's outside of your Keith. After they trim, like, you know what I'm saying? It falls through the screen and you have it there. You be like, what the fuck I'm gonna do with this shit? Some people either press it for rising, you know what I'm saying, with heat extract the oils from it and dab the oil so when you see people doing dabs you know what i'm saying sometimes it comes from that or some people just straight press the flower you get uh you know what i'm saying flower rising but that yeah yeah that's the good shit right there that's the good shit right there all that little dust and dirt right there that's the shit that's outside of your bud to make that moon rock you know what i'm saying and it's stuck there with the rising so you getting a motherfucking full blown goddamn how you want it, yeah. <laughs> you getting it all the way. You getting the flower, the wax, and the uh, keef itself. The moon rocks got down the shit. I love them. I just smoke them at nighttime. Over here we use the trim for edibles and other things. Each plant also yielded us a little bit of keef, which we collected, put it all together in a jar. Y'all know the deal, you seen the video. You dig? So where's that put us? What's the yield for this plant? Before we get to that, check out the beautiful display. Damn, boy, that purple coming through on that motherfucker. This is some really, really, really good bud, we man. Have here for these like, me? Okay, I kind of, since I've been growing, right, the more, the best, the shit that I like the most is usually green. The shit that's pretty as fuck and that you want and that get gone fast. You know what I'm saying? Your friends, your, your friends always want want you to share that one with them. Got the purple in it for sure. It'd be the purple shit. But what I've noticed is I kind of the flavors and the the terpenes, the aromas and the shit that I'm leaning towards is usually be some. You know what I'm saying? Be some good light green type shit with a. You know what I'm saying? Kind of. You know what I mean? If purple is there, that's cool. It's nice. I've definitely had some really, really good shit. I've had a rosé strain, some shit. It was called rosé, and it had some purples in it. And that shit was like, phew, I've been chasing that to grow. Like, if I if I get a strain that's close to it, that motherfucker not leaving the garden. And I think that's why I like Bubble Run so much. It was the closest thing that I had to that rosé on, like, terpenes-wise. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? But just looking at this shit right here, like, Looking at this shit right here, nigga. This is what you want. No. You don't, like, it don't get no better than that, man. You know what I'm saying? Got your dark green in that motherfucker. Light green. Got some purple in that motherfucker. And it's frosted to the T. Yeah, man, look like a motherfucker done sprinkled crack on it. Like, an uh, inexperienced smoker or somebody who don't know what the fuck is going on. They weed don't look like that. Because for when they get it and it be zip locked. So the nugs be compressed and a little tighter. So it, you know what I'm saying? The only reason why most bud come looking how it look, because it's getting shipped out, man. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers coming through how it's coming through. So when, when they vacuum seal it, that compress the nugs and give it a whole different look and structure. All it do is just make it tighter for real, for real. But what I think it does is also, you know what I'm saying? Of course, um agitate the trichome heads the trichomes literally look like mushrooms or like i hate to say it but they look like little penises you know what i'm saying it's a stem and a head on that motherfucker and the head contain the cannabinoid the cannabinoids <laughs> oh shit <laughs> i'm starting to sound like one of them folks uh yeah but it's starting to sound like 
the track on here is how whole loud the motherfucking get high and the flavors and shit. And I don't wanna sound like an asshole trying to goddamn say the goddamn say the terminology, but that shit sound crazy coming out of my mouth. For real, for real. But yeah, man. It's cra like those little that where where the white shit that's all over the bud. Like if you zoom in on it with a microscope, you know what I'm saying? It look like mushroom. It look like a million little bitty mushrooms or like little dicks type shit. Crazy. But that's where all the good shit at. That's where all the get high at. And they covered all like them motherfuckers are everywhere, all over the bud. Even when you don't see them, that's the, the stickiness. That's the the, that, that's the everything that, That's what you want For real for real And a lot of smokers Shit They go straight to that Extract The oils The THC The terpenes They extract all that shit Straight up out the plant And don't deal with none of it And just go straight to the dabs You know what I'm saying Me I'm old shit Man I just like rolling up Me a blunt bro I gotta have Shit I, I still like having me a old blunt I'm old school with it I got little dab rigs and I take dabs and all that, but shit, obviously I can't be on I, I can't be on my channels dabbing and shit like that. Cause them motherfuckers will take a thumbnail or take the, like their screenshot or take a picture of me like, look, this nigga crack here, he over there smoking crack. So I can't even <laughs> I can't even got them dab on like I can't even dab up how I want to motherfuckers try to call me a crackhead. But shit, any kind of way you want to smoke, we can do that shit. Like, damn. Yeah, any what kind of way you can do it. We, how you want to do it? Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and blow me up a bag right now. Blow me up a whole bag right now. This is a vaporizer right here. I rarely ever use it. I should use it a lot more. I don't mind smoking out of it, but what I will say, it choked. Eventually, over time, I don't know if I be, I don't know if I don't exhale properly or what the fuck I be doing, but... Once I get halfway through the bag, that bitch start choking me out real bad. And I don't like to cough. As long as I've been smoking, I still hate coughing to the but I don't like to cough. Like That's a big part of why I don't like smoking nobody else's weed but mine. Cause shit. <laughs> And I definitely got that bus life OG will choke your motherfucking ass out if you disrespect it. But shit, I know the power, so I don't go in there disrespecting. You know what I mean? I don't go in there playing with it. When I smoke other people's weed, it's like, for one, God to my, this shit just don't taste. It don't taste like how I want it to. And then, too, I end up coughing and choking, and I can't smoke a whole, I cannot smoke a whole blunt, a whole joint. I can't get through a whole session. Nobody else shit If I ain't grow it Unless my dog Jeff grew that shit Like unless Unless my one Unless one of my partners Grew that shit And I know who grew it Like You know what I'm saying I seen the grow myself I'm damn near involved with Like damn near Some kind of capacity Capacity involved with the grow Or See the shit for my If I don't Yeah I gotta know something About the grow nowadays And this Maybe just a You know what I'm saying A placebo effect Like Maybe it's all in my head, cause shit. Back in the day, yeah, I ain't missed the beat smoking before I started growing. But damn, I had a. I think I had way more unpleasant smoking experiences than good ones in the sense of the flavor that I want, the high that I want, the flavor and the high. Period. Like that's the two things that I'm smoking for. I'm smoking for the flavor and I'm smoking to, you know what I'm saying, ease tension. I'm smoking for the flavor and I'm smoking to ease some tension. And hell yeah. Nigga, growing changed everything. I still to this day, if you listening to my voice and your ass ain't growing and you smoke a little bit, or a lot of it, or at any capacity, shit, it don't matter. Get you a tent. <laughs> Get you a tent. You ain't got to tell nobody what you doing. Get you a motherfucking tent, man. Put some motherfucking uh, seeds in the dirt. 
For real. And holla at me in a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Let me know what you got going on. Yeah, yeah, like for real. The shit. You can't beat this shit. It's the, that's literally the only way you're going to get weed like this. If you do it yourself. Or if you know the motherfucker that's doing it. Type shit. And shit, outside of myself, like, outside of myself, and I got three, four now, waiting on this first harvest. Outside of myself, there's only four people that I would smoke. They sh I can see myself smoking a whole blunt or even shopping with them. Like, nigga, I need to get an A for that. Go ahead, send your boy A for whatever, like, got that, whatever the case might be. I done ran out of my freebies, cool. Got that, what's the number? You know what I'm saying? Send your boy something. Like, and it's only four people. So, just to get weed like this. <laughs> for real, for real. <laughs> this is an all nug this place, courtesy of my cousin. Round of applause. And then, yeah, too, I can't even, like, I ain't gone. People that. People that I share with, because I don't sell a motherfucker thing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't nobody trying to go to jail for this shit, man. I just want to feel good. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's legal in my state. I can do what I do. You know what I mean? I ain't got to worry about no police. I am not trying to be the motherfucking uh, Pablo Escobar of the weed gang. I ain't no need for no folk come fuck with me, Jaka. I'm trying to goddamn keep from going to jail. I'm smoking to keep from being a goddamn menace to society. So I ain't no way I'm trying to get in trouble with this shit. So it's like, as far as what I got to share... Like, and how I share, and how I share, people that got down, my friends that I share with, they shit always look like that, because, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got a, y'all don't know, man, I got a little sense of pride with everything that I do. Shit, we coming with the goddamn A game every time, you know what I mean? I want your shit, I want your shit to be like my shit when I, like, you know what I mean? Just like how I'm getting it, or how I'm smoking it. So, like, even if I was the zip, even when I send shit, when like if I have or, you know what I mean, when I do send shit, it's people get what I get type shit just because of, uh, you know what I mean, how I go, how I go about it, the technique and how I do it, you know what I mean. The little pretty packages are cool, but shit, that shit gonna get smashed up, like. You know what I mean? If we dealing with medicine, why not give people your your own type shit? <clears throat> type shit. A little bit of game for a nigga. Put that in your back pocket, man. Like you know what I'm saying? People want the same experience that you get, so hell yeah. When you're sharing, might as well do it right. You don't have a cousin like that. Seventy grams was the what state? VA <laughs> Hey man, you know Grow on the stairs got some fire over there, J Dirt. Here for this plant, flying Hawaiian about 2.5 ounces. Moving on <laughs> to our next plant. The fire water cross with face yeah. on fire. But a good people over there with the genetics. So yeah. First time running this plant in this channel, however we that's why that's why grow up in the stairs probably duffer than a lot of other YouTubers because I would probably just be like put the camera on the fucking jar and show y'all inside of the jar. This man that laid that shit out like a motherfucking picnic, man. I bet y'all want to pick one of them buds out I I that the little uh bathtub right. How you got a whole weed bathtub for the bud like some bitch? <laughs> Bro, dope man. Bro, just dope man. We have ran their gear before. The Boston cream pie from them was a huge hit over here. And happens to be the tallest plant that we've ran. Funny enough, this one is the second tallest. They're like them Cena Warrior Princess type plants over there. It's a fact. You know, the Amazonian girl. It's a fact, of On screen, some more visual clues as to what I'm searching for to let me know that my plant is dry. And that would be brittle leaves on the outside of the nugs. You can mm. tell here that the nugs themselves are not brittle, over dried, or falling apart. If anything, they still maintain a little bit of that stickiness. This plant wasn't leafy at all, so trimming was pretty easy. As were most of the plants that we work with for this season. I'll make sure to note the ones that weren't when we get to them. Yay! I know. This is one of my favorite nug structures of the run. And as suspect, the jar appeal for this plant is top shelf. Oh, yeah. 
And because of the tallness of the plant and the density of its nugs, it prompted me to ask you guys to take a gander at how much weight this plant was going to yield. I have that information for you coming up. But before we get to that, how does it smell? How does it smell? On the nose, this plant smells like weed. <laughs> Here we go. You got to try a little. I mean, listen, that's what it is. You got to just... Try. I, I just don't have a secondary note for you guys other than that gassy weed smell for this. As far as the smoke, I find it kind of harsh as well because I can't find that secondary thing to grab onto. By the way, the mm. grinder you keep uh, watching comes yeah, to us courtesy of the goat grinder. Want to give him some love in this video and let you know that discount code Alfred. Oh, wow. so well, mama like my things. I think she won't get bit. This shit caught me off guard. What I would say about the weed strains that I've had that like that came off like how he just described it just tasting like weed and a little bit harsh like those took longer to cure and once those strains got i would say once those set twice as long like you know what i'm saying once those set a little bit longer them motherfuckers end up being the heavy hitters, dog. Them be the ones that cave your motherfucking chest in. They will get to a point where it becomes pleasurable to smoke and don't be so harsh or, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it just seemed like flavor. I had, The one that I had like that was cotton candy. And it was, um, copycat genetic shit. I had the cotton candy from copycat. And in the beginning... Like you said, it just tastes like weed and it was harsh as hell. But two fucking months later, <laughs> it felt like like two months later, it ended up getting a faint sweetness, a really, really faint sweetness out of nowhere. But it had this sour thing going on, like a, a faint sweet and a sour type shit going on. Like it was some, it was some flavors came at the very, very end, but it was always just heavy hitting, sit you on your ass, hit it a couple times, put that bitch out type shit, like, before that. And even after, after the harshness left and the flavors came, it was still, like, you hit that bitch two, three times and put that motherfucker down, because it was just like a heavy, heavy high. So I guess the THC levels was high as shit and the terpene levels wouldn't really add, like, I don't think I, that one, you know what I mean, produced many terpenes in that fit with that phenotype. But that motherfucker high was off the chain, dog. Like, straight head banger, you hit that motherfucker a couple times, be high for a long time. Burski, what it do, bro? You gonna text me on the stream? Hey, nice, nice. That's my dog, bro. I I fucking love bro content, man. I, I, yeah, <laughs> shit. I definitely love his content. I gotta make me some extra change, become a Patreon, and get on the wild. Honestly, but yeah, man. I put my shit. All my dogs that grow, I turn them on to his content because it's entertaining and, and informational as well. And shit, it got to the point now. It's like. If I'm not posting my grow vlog shit, I want to react to bro shit or show the other growers that I like to watch. You know what I'm saying? So I've been reacting to mostly him and um my brother Macho Grams, Grams the Savage. Check him out too. Macho Grams, he getting busy. He doing the aeroponic style. I ain't familiar with that style of growing. I'm straight with, you know what I'm saying? All I know is soil or fucking <laughs> soil and cocoa, but he 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 doing the aeroponics. And it's interesting as hell to watch how this plant is growing versus, you know what I'm saying, going to soil. So make sure you check out uh, Macho Grams, man. Macho got it going over there. Macho Grams, Gramsy Savage. <laughs> if you a pretty big percentage, should you be interested in checking it out? With all that said, back to the plant. I do yeah, you probably already know who Macho is, honestly, man. The grow community, like, I love this fucking grow community. It's cute. It's it's cool as shit over here. Plan on running it again. The sturdiness of the stem, the height, the denseness of the nugs are all qualities that I could use to improve on certain cultivars like the Orangella that are missing some of these traits. So what about the weight? How much did we pull off of this plan? And who gets the correct number? First of all, some of you people gave crazy numbers. Do you even grow? But here are the two closest. And one of you guys gave two answers, so automatically get disqualified and there's a winner uh. for this plan. Yeah. Congratulations, Jake! Uh. 
You don't win nothing. I didn't say I was gonna give you nothing. Man, this channel. No. <laughs> that's that's reserved for the final weight at the end. 67 grams for the fire water cross your face on fire. Are you really already using that one continuous? Shot? Oh, you, oh, you know, oh, you, you, you know, I was going to. and everything. You, listen, soon as we recorded that, we knew we was gonna keep using that for every video. Man, got no shame. <laughs> Quick entertainment break for you guys. Make sure you're not overloaded with too much information. This is my cousin and I shaking our booty in the snow. This is what 43 looks like, everybody. Alfred, why the extra hate today? It's like extra spicy. Today. I don't know, because you're a 43 year old man shaking your booty in the snow. I was with my cousin, though. Yeah, yeah, I was and with my Brian. Listen, and Brian. Sure. Yeah, that makes it worse. You know, I don't have to entertain this. I, I don't have to do don't be clear. Papers. That's my fucking bro right there, man. My just a yeah. Man, the best fucking YouTuber in the game. Hey, bro, one of the best YouTubers in the game right there, bro. <laughs> Sensei Bow, brother. You, the, hey, man. You, damn, bro. <laughs> check this shit back. Hey, check it back, bro. Check it back. Check it back, man. And I was just giving you props for how you displaying the bud, like. I was I, I always give you props for for your uh for your content man how you the production value that you put into this shit and I was saying how like me personally in a harvest video when I even remember to do fucking harvest video I just put the camera over the jar and be like yeah I got a couple grams like bro you got the whole display for the harvest like you got the shit laid out and it looks absolutely beautiful that's why I was. Give you props for your production and all that shit, bro. You a cold motherfucker, bro. You a cold motherfucker. Bro. Appreciate what you do, bro. I really do, man. Hope these three guys are alone in the cab. Moving on. Moving on. Go ahead and tell us a little bit about this plant outfit. Thank you, Big Daddy. The frozen bag from Robin Hood comes to us. The fucking frozen bag. Second run for this. The infamous frozen bag. Bro, did you ever get one that didn't throw nanas at the end? Could a frozen back, that's one of, like, I would say that's top, top five, top five, but it can easily go in the fucking top three of the best strains I ever grown. I want to breed with that shit, like, make a cross with it. That fucking frozen back is amazing, bro. But the fuck would, like, for me, the phenotypes that I had I always threw nanners at the end, dead at the end, but it ain't really affect the rest of the grow, I don't. Nah, it didn't really affect the rest of the growth. It didn't affect the plant at all. Like, every time I had frozen bag, it didn't stay around long, bro. <laughs> shit, in between me and my friends, we would run through that shit all the time, man. So I'm like, I, yeah, I be, I be watching videos and I notice you have, you, you run, you be running frozen bag too. And that shit, bro, that frozen bag is the shit, man. Frozen bag good as fuck. This channel both times extremely frosty. This is going to be a collection. <laughs> I bet. Trust me, you want this one in your collection? Fall. Tell me more. It will appreciate value, wow. but it will go fast. So make sure you hit the phone line. Up. Ordering one for my grandma right now. <laughs> Banana. Damn, hello, whoa, you just said the same shit I said. That frozen bag do go fast. It's a good price. Second run for this channel both times extremely frosty. This is going to be a collector. <laughs> I bet. Trust me, you want this one in your collection? Yeah. Tell me more. It will appreciate value, wow. but it will go fast. So Very. make sure you hit the phone line. Up. Ordering one for my grandma right now. <laughs> Banana. Banana nah, peel. Nah, this shit, man. I get on the nose for this on the job. And lay flower, to be fair. Compared to the first time we ran this plant, a different seed. The nugs were bigger in this particular phenotype. But just as frosty, if not even more so. Very high quality trim for this plant, as the leaves were all very frosty. And the nugs themselves hey. ended up with a purple tinge, especially towards the top of the plant. The smoke itself was what I consider smooth. Flavor-wise, the banana wasn't very detectable. Even though I feel like the smell keeps getting stronger in the jar. Speaking of the jar, let me show you what this lady looks like in all her glory. She's definitely a sight to behold, and another one of the reasons why I enjoy mason jars so much. I enjoy picking these up and it. Admiring my work, I, mean, I do.
If you're using mason jars or any clear container, make sure you're storing these in a dark, cool place for long term. Light does degrade the quality of your product, which is why some people opt to buy jars that are tinted or UV protected or to right. store in a non-clear container altogether. But not me. I think it's a crime to hide oh, God. this. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Look at Get this. over yourself. Look at I want to see this. <laughs> now, as good as this plan is, damn it. It's nanas. just so we're in the up and up. That's what I was talking about, about the fucking nanas. Not running this plan again. Ah! As discussed earlier in this season, we did find yep. some nanas, which indicate Herm trade in this phenotype. That and the fact I found... It's so fucking... Well, the phenotype that I had is so fucking good, though. And I was told that the bag stood for berries and gas. And that's exactly what it tasted like. But it wouldn't, like, kerosene... Fucking petro gas. It was like fart gas. Like somebody passed gas. It was like berries and somebody passed gas. That was the phenotype that I got. And that shit was fucking fire, bro. God, Tomati. But it threw nanas at the end. On seeds on the actual plant while doing the trim and later you'll see it while opening up a nug and it's just all too risky if i'm actively trying to breathe to have a plant like this in the state that said right. i do have some more beans of this jesus christ that fucker caked man look at all them try that shit look like a moon rock already oh my god the stem frosty bro <laughs> The fucking stem iced out, man. The stem look like it been hanging around Birdman. That motherfucker got all kind of bling bling on it. <laughs> look, the stem look like a tarantula leg. That frozen bag is something special, bro. I always ran a rave about that shit. But it's for a reason. It's some good shit, man. It's a fact that I plan to run it again. See if we can find that winner that has it all over. Right. I gotta get me another pack ASAP. I got gifted a bean from my friend. One of my homeboys, he gifted me a seed and a phenotype because he was running out of space. And he started one. He popped one. He was like, save your seed, bro. I already got one going. And that shit ended up being fire. I cloned it out, ran it twice my damn self. But it... Threw down is at the end, but that shit was, it was really, really, really good. Really, really good, but something about it that was throwing me off, it really didn't pop. It didn't pop pistols at all. It would be like a pistol here and there, but that shit tripped me out because I'd never seen it like that. It would just, it went from fucking, it went from veg to straight bud, man, like, it was throwing calyxes out, and I could tell that it went nuts. I could tell, like, I could visibly see that, okay, it's not a male plant at all, but I went and seeing pistols either. And that was the confusingest part in the world. Like, yeah, that shit was confusing as fuck. I couldn't figure it out. That motherfucker just straight bud, 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 and it'll be a pistol here and there, randomly. And at the end, the bitch dropped nanas. Yeah. This particular plant was one of the ones ran organic and cut at week number nine of flowers. This plant mixes the Michigan gas factory cut of the bag and the banana buttercup. Total yield for this plant, 62 grams or 2.21 ounces for the frozen bag from Robin. How you doing over there? Oh, I'm chilling. You planting. You need a break? You uh, good? No, I'm strong as a guy. <laughs> right, let's move it on. Ready? I'm ready for war. Got the Chimera Junkie from Hyrule Janet. And look at that wonderful display there. Once again, thanks to my cousin for setting all of this up. That's Salute, a cousin. Cousin snap with it. And he got the Snoop Dogg Funko Pop in the back. <laughs> and he got the big Snoop Dogg Funko Pop in the back. I used to, hey, I used to go hard with the Funkos. Don't believe me. Put Funko Bros in the search bar YouTube. <laughs> Put Funko Bros in the search bar YouTube. See what the fuck you find. Like, like Mario bro, like Mario Brothers, but I shorten that shit up. Funko Bros with a Z. F U N K O B R O Z. I snapped out with the motherfucking Funkos. I got way too many of them shits, man. I had to leave them alone a long time ago. This is like crack, dog. Like, 
Matter of fact, Funko was cutting in the motherfucking, yeah. Funko was became a problem for me once in my life. I ain't gonna fake. Listen, I know most of the plants for this run are pretty frosty, but this one at the top, this one, this one of the top ones right here. Just in terms of frost, I mean, there's, a, there's, there's some things that he's missing, like size, etc. We'll talk about this coming up, but in terms of frost, man, it's pretty impressive, dog. She crossed it in diamonds. Factual. That said, because that of her size and structure, foot. she was also a pain in the ass to trim. And you know me, yeah. you don't gotta take my word for it. You got eyes? That's racist. Nice. I'm always gonna bring you some proof. My man got receipts. Yep. Yeah, man, you think I'm gonna suffer through all this trimming by myself? Now I'm bringing you with me. With friends like you. <laughs> You're about to be part of this trim gel with me. Who needs enemies? Now the main thing that that's what exactly why I stream every time I'm trimming. I fuck this shit. I ain't even do this by myself. Caught my attention when I was trimming this was one. just how sweet it was. On screen, a good illustration. Bro, you gotta do a stream, bro. You gotta do a a, a, a trim stream with us one time, fool. You gotta do a, 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 a one time, at least just one time, bro. Do a old stream trim, man. I don't know why this wasn't fun to trim. This is a top nut. Because of the stream trim, trim stream. Jesus. Because of this weird structure, I had more fun trimming the lowers. Back to the nose of this. This one and the runs crossed with layer cake both just gave off such sweetness when I was trimming. I can't pair it with a fruit or anything like that. It's just perhaps a candy sweet would be the best way for me to describe this it. This is a strong smoke for me. The reason I'm saying that is because I rolled the one gram joint and had to turn it off halfway through. I have to My listen. Man waved the white flag. If I can't finish it, man, it's pretty strong. Now, while trimming and in the jar, the first thing that hits you is the sweetness. When smoked, I do get a hint of that skunk on. Guess to try to explain it. On the tongue is sweet, on the nose is skunk. Ladies and gentlemen, there's my cousin doing his thing with the camera. Hey, yo, y'all really drinking the light lime? Taking some pictures that you should be seeing coming up on my Instagram. Is that what y'all were drinking at the cafe? If you ain't following me, by the way, check it out. Alcohol free, but light lime with a cherry. All updated links to all my social media. With a Zima chaser? Down below in this video's description. Oh, all nice. Alfred, shut up. Just shut up, Alfred. Lineage of this plant is the Chimera number three crossed with the Cap Junkie. Alfred, it's your turn now. Oh, now you want me to talk? Uh, come on. No, well, I Stop. need to know whether I should talk or not. You're just not being very clear right now. Oh, my <laughs> God. So bro. I should talk yeah, then, Listen, right? I got no time. This is stupid. This Presentation fucking A1, man. You got, you got the self-rotating turntable. This is very stupid. With the whip. Filled up with gas. If this ain't, yo, uh, dead at, that's how you do it, though, that's how you do it, that's you how you do it, for yes or no? get this, 74 grams for this, right. Two after bro video, I'm gonna show y'all some shit that I probably would goddamn never show, I wouldn't even tell y'all about this channel, but it, it's reminding me of, like, production value, man, production value i've been streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming and you can put production value into streaming but you could be way more creative when you take your time and do this shit man 0.64 ounces the biggest yielding thus far yet the whole season i've been critiquing it on how small the nugs are shows i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> you're so stupid out here Cabin lovers, look at me. Oh, come on, Alfred. I'm as helpless as a kitten on a tree. Hope the copyright strike is worth it. I feel like I'm clinging. That's the dark part. Bro, how old are yeah. you, man? <laughs> oh, me? Oh, I'm time is baby. <laughs> no, waiter, I still don't want more water. Move it on. To the orange yellow from Prism Labs, and this is a cross between the Larry OG and the ISO 8. Something I just realized. I want me something that's purple as fuck, just for the simple fact that it's gonna be purple and make people go crazy when they see it. People still get real excited over purple weed, man. I mean, I do too. Who fucking don't? Like, I've been looking for something that's gonna drop that perp. This is the longest running plant on this channel. She's not. She's experienced. Originally, the pack was gifted to us by a YouTuber, Northwest J. Bro, bro, bro. 
We popped a seed of this, found this beautiful plant, and been cloning it ever since. Let's go. Now, as legend would have it, we did come close to losing this plant once. Oh, sorry. Mm. And that is when we got dumped and had to relocate from New Jersey all the way to Alaska, where we are now. Home of the snow. That's right. All would have been lost had it not been for the fact that I'd gifted one cut. Ah! That's right, just one. To the homie J Dirt Exotic, who has kept that cut to this. Yo, salute the motherfucking J Dirt, bro. <laughs> Fucking J Dirt, bro. You a real one, bro. You that dude, bro. That's fucking fire, man. That's dope, man. God, Almighty. I love how the game, but I love how you can put love into the game, and that shit come back, bro. I I really love that, bro. That's that's fucking dope, my G. That's dope, G. Salute my boy, he right. Hey, salute the fucking Jay in the building. <laughs> and this shit look crazy. <laughs> you definitely don't want to lose one of these, bro. If you got something that's gonna drop this shit every fuck, you don't want to lose that, man. Salute to my dog Jay, keeping that. You know what I'm saying? Preserving that. That's tough, man. You a real one, bro. And was able to get it back to me Damn. right over here to where I'm at. Woo! So what's so special about this plant? Why do I keep it around? Well, it obviously has some beautiful color to it. Deep purples that sometimes turn into black. That's racist! If you let the plant go long enough. The size, although it lacks density, is pretty impressive. And it's an mm. early finisher. Were you an early finisher at the cabin? That's all. Ah, uh, you probably have to go a tent full to like. So fuck it, just clone it out, run the tent full. It that one look like running a a, a tent full. Like that that one look like fucking. I'm gonna take a whole four by four, put shit four to six cuts, however many you can fit in that bitch, and run it out. That look like it's worth a whole tent, dog. So the material you got for us out yet? Cause I know for a fact if anybody see it, they gonna be like, I want that one. But like, bro, I'm telling you, this shit right here, this shit, nah, fuck that, I want that one. <laughs> That's what they're gonna say. <laughs> I want that one. Bro, this right here, though, this, that shit. Bro, fuck what you talking about. Give me that one. I want that one. If people can smoke with their eyes, like, damn. Learned the past, we've ran into week nine. But as time goes on, I feel like week eight, or even before that, yields the best results for this phenotype. Mm. Do your thing, Alf. Thank you, Big Daddy. Now, listen, I know I said the last ones were gonna be collectibles, but God. this one, though. This is the one, right? This one is gonna appraise in value three times by the time 2026 comes around. Oh, I feel you, Alfred, but what about the smell, the taste that culminate into a sunkist like sweetness when it's smoked and in there? Sun, bro, that shit tastes like a sun kissed soda, my nigga. What? Need some time alone? Full body tasting that evaporates into a euphoric high. That takes its time to get there, but the time is well worth it and enjoy it. 45. I can leave the room if you want. 45 grams. Oh, no. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. Fuck it. No. 1.6 ounces for the orange jelly. That's so little. Now, I try to keep pretty good track of all the little nugs I kept stealing. But that if I be the fire, though, cuz. The smile yields be that fire. I'm wrong Fuck in it. one. You gotta go a tent full, man. Then I'm wrong in all of it. So I'd say that's a pretty fair number. Disappointing, I know. But it is what it is. Moving on. Mm -hmm. To the permanent chimera number 21. It's actually a pretty good segue from the last segment. Because along with the clone of the orange this was one of the clones that JD sent to me as well. Originally from Belief and also valued at $500. Damn. JD does have this available for you. And it's a first nice. time run for this channel. Out of all the plants we have going on the nose, this is the Bro, one. Bro, I got to lock in with you. Hey, that man said you want to change your life. All you got to do is get in with me. Huh? <laughs> Cause I got, hey, you the motherfucking plug? <laughs> Why not? My boy, my guy, that, that my guy is the guy. I'm, a, I'm logged in on the um. I gotta be logged in on um. On a different, like on the wrong account, on a different browser. Cause why is they not let me access 
my shit. YouTube. Let me see. What's locked in? What's locked in? Yup. That's why. Put it on the big dog. Cool. Man, I got a mod. Bro, I got to tap in with the broski, bro. And Jay, Jay, yeah. You got that shit. <laughs> That's for lack of better words. <laughs> for lack of better words, broski got that shit. Jeez. Don't worry about it. I'm fucking finagle this shit. I'm going to figure out how to do it. Hold on. Jay Dirt is like. Damn it. Check it out. You know what? I'm you know what, bro? I'm pretty sure he I'm pretty sure he got your contact. Cause he ain't playing with this my brother ain't playing with this shit at all either. I damn sure appreciate you being here. That's for one. But damn Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to break some bread with you, bro. You got the yeah, yeah. That trends the most <laughs> that's yeah. skunky. Followed closely by the flying Hawaiian. I've been labeling my pre rolls, and every time I smell skunk in the air, with my cousin smoking, I know that only have to so look bad. at the tip of the pre roll to find that it's either the flying Hawaiian. Kevo, what's good? Kevo, what's good, bro? I've been lacking on this side of town, man. My bad. I deeply apologize, but I ain't been lacking on the growing side of town. I ain't been missing a beat with the plants. I only been, you know what I'm saying, lacking on the content. I'ma show off the girls for y'all pretty yeah. Before the weekend over, I'ma show off the girls for y'all. Show you, you know what I'm saying, show y'all I'm still locked in, but man, look a here. About time to refocus my energy real fast. And prioritize. Yeah, refocus my energy and my priorities real quick. That's all. Look at the stem, bro. Usually them shits be purple like that bitch is hot pink through there. You know this ain't nothing but flavor, G. You know, the permanent chimera number 21. Along with those two plants smelling similar, they also have the same structure. This, of course, could be explained by both of those plants coming from the same house. A collaboration between Belief and Seed Junkie, this makes us the chimera number two. With the permanent marker, and it is available in seed form. The permanent marker, staple in the community, and has a strong lineage itself. Biscotti crossed with Sherv back cross. And then those two mixed with Jealousy, selected by mm. Doja Pack, was voted Leafly Strain of the Year for 20 2023, yeah. Okay. Now I've just recently gotten into pressing, making concentrates of my own. Ooh, fancy. Nice. That's right, I just got my. Bro, I got like fucking three slicks over this bitch from every last. I got slicks from every last one of my press, press, well, from every one of my harvests. And I never got them smoke all my. I be too busy on the flower, dog. I love flower. I never got them hit all of my wax. Horizon. Rising, rising, rising. I never smoke out of my motherfucking rising. I'm gonna start giving that shit away from my dogs, for real, for real. I'm really gonna start giving it away to my dogs. All my homies who got down there, I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, sh yeah, don't worry about it, type shit. And just keep me some, you know what I mean? In case of in between harvest or if I run out of flour and I ain't got no flour to smoke, but. Yeah, I still love flour, dog. Like. Fuck this shit, I gotta smoke one G. Yeah, hey, we're gonna have a little quick music break, then we get um right back to the motherfucking bud porn, man. I gotta smoke one now, I'm hyped now. I look in the mirror and say, we gon' be okay. That nigga look back at me and say, we already straight. Take a look at my watch and it's time to make a play. That's ain't time to wait for no man, bitch, get yours, but it's too late. Don't get mad, I'm living. Livin'. Don't swear, gotta be livid. Live it. Can't stop a nigga on the pivot. pivot. Try to cop my style, had to switch it. Wait, I'm big, fat, bad with twisting. Nigga ain't know my love, I'm livid. Live Baby mom won't pay me switch. She got uh, that ass on her, I'm hitting. Uh, I listen to myself, man, I say, damn, that nigga spitting. Wait, so Luke, my joke, when the ground come from Chicago, shit hit different. different. I watch out for them folk, now they like nigga be bullshit. bullshit. It's too many trying to give me advice, but that ain't how you live. Uh, Let my pockets in my spirit. I just find a pocket, know you hear it. Yeah, out of pocket, I don't fear it. 
better respect it, so don't come near it. Go. Big blunt, smoking weed, rolling boat. Band chasing, getting to that dope. Brands in the scale, all I know. Clientele pointing to the dope. Thorns hurting in my fingers, so. Still talk a woman out of clothes. I ain't never played with my nose. How you Ay. try me to get exposed? Yeah. Yes, they feel for the hype, but that's the shit I don't like. Try and get my paper right, but that's the shit I don't like. I look in the mirror and say, we gon' be okay. okay. That nigga look back at me and say, we already straight. Hey. Take a look at my watch and it's time. Time to make a play. That same time, don't wait for no man biscuit yours, but it's too late. Hey, get no fuck, fuck. Leave it up, up. If it's 99, problems pour it in a cup. Nigga, fuck the nigga, bitch, we ballin'. I ain't from the bluff. Look, cut my bitch, your ass. Yeah, bitch, please don't thank you, too. I ain't walkin' that bitch, I'm skippin'. Skip. Blow get here, now you can't hit it. Yeah. Don't show me that shit, I get it. Yeah. Hit a lick, now I'm feelin' terrific. My taste some women exquisite. Squeeze my taste some shoes expensive. Bitch, I on you, boy, I'm with it. Need my bank account tremendous. What? My account gotta use pimp this pimp. Put it in my pocket, who pimp What? These niggas got a sickness. Ay. They sick of watchin' me win this go. I forgot the haters. Hey. But now I can't forget, bitch. I ran out of paper. paper. I made another hit list. I still don't wish bad on nigga, cause I heard that shit come back. back. I was lost, now I'm found worried about where the fuck you at. I been on the grind, though. Grind. Living this, flip, dip, never dead. hard to find. Oh, I'm in the kitchen with this ass. I feel like the trap I made the pack do. Jumping jacks, dead. I love some pussy, light it up with my thundercat. How she looking when I get done? You won't even want to bet. He trying to do something new, we already moved on from that. I look in the mirror and say, we gon' be okay. okay. That nigga look back at me and say, we already straight. Take a look at my watch and it's time to make a play. That same time, don't wait for no man. Let's get yours, but it's too late. What? Get no fucks up. Leave it up, up. If it's 99, problems pour it in a cup. Nigga, fuck them nigga, bitch, we ballin'. I ain't from the bluff. Blood. Cut my beat your ass. Hey. Yeah, bitch, please don't think you tough. What? It ain't that it ain't that much busted, but it's little. <laughs> it ain't that motherfucking much. When it first had dropped, I was trying to get up with Broski. I wanted to catch some of this first drop. Yeah, shit, he, he it might look at how it's looking, shit. Bro might end up catching the next one, but oh my god, man! It just got it's like. It got what I want, bro. And it's not. It ain't the best quality. Like, of course, you ain't gonna be able to see too good with that quality, but shit, for y'all who can. Y'all know, but y'all can tell some goddamn decent bud when you see it, man. I'm pretty proud of this motherfucker right here. I'm pretty proud of this. And now, since I'm on this tequila, this tequila got me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? These little. I'm a tequila man, dog. I'm on fucking Jose Cuervo, Patron, goddamn anything. I don't fucking, <laughs> I don't give a fuck what kind of tequila it is. I'm on it. And now the six, the seltzers that I drank, Topo Chico, whatever. The, shit, I don't even know how to pronounce them bitches. I just know they got tequila in it. So I've been on them uh, tequila seltzers real hard, bro. That's my shit right now. And anybody who knows. Fucking tequila, how you feeling like you're 21, man? And right now, shit. Right now, I'm like 28. <laughs> right now, I'm about 28. By the time I get to the end of this, I should be feeling like 25, 26. Then I think I'm gonna cut, cut myself off of all of that. Cause I ain't trying to get all the way down to 21. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would cut myself off around like 20, 26. As soon as I start feeling 26, I'm done, goddamn. Because I know for sure, if we make it all the way to 21, boy, we're going to have a good night. It's still young. It's a Friday. I'm going you know, to get my damn self in some trouble, man. I ain't got time for all that. I know your limits out here in these streets. That's the moral of the motherfucking story. Hi, bro. Hey, high vibes. What it do, G? <laughs> high vibes in the building. Finna roll one up and get with you, bro. Finna roll one up and get high, man. Gro got this shit going over here. Myself a little secondhand nug smasher. You know what I'm talking about. Appreciate the Patreon. Yeah. My man got the 1985.
version. I did, I did. That's how they used to press weed before Christ. Listen, I live within my means, Alfred. Anyway, the point is I have been pressing some of this material. But I'm new to all this stuff, so I just can't get feedback on return or quality of the product yet. However, if it means anything to you, here's what JD had to say about a few of the cultivars that we have in common, such as the Cairo, the Flying Hawaiian, and the PC-21, and the experiences that he's had with them. Great yielding for the PC-21, clear material for the Flying Hawaiian, and flavor explosion for the Orangello, yeah. So what does this lady end up with as far as the numbers are concerned? 60.12 grams, or about 2.15 ounces for the permanent chimera number 21. Now just for comparison purposes, since they look and sort of smell similar, the Flying Hawaiian was 70 grams, or about 2.5 ounces. So move on! To some of the details of the weekend I had, I don't want to burn you out, so let me uh, sprinkle this in over here. Now, mind you, I'm not a snow person. I'm what you call a tropical baby. So this snowmobile <laughs> walking around in a frozen lake situation was all new to me. And man, did I enjoy it. So when I was asked if I wanted to do the Moore Lake Trail, I said, hell yeah. And guess what? We completed it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We made it. Look at that. We are the champions. That's a fact. That's a fact. Oh. The picture yeah, to prove down, it down, in down. everything. Moving on down, 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 down. to another favorite in this channel, the Cairo from Belief. A mix between the Platinum Punch number 13 and the White Truffle. Oh yeah, the second longest running strain that we have in this channel. And the same as with your... Motherfucker, where? Alright, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Orangello. The only reason we still have it today was because of JD returning it to us. Now, this cultivar is somewhat of an oddity because it does lack a lot of the things that we like here in this channel. You mean like men in cabins? Whoa. However, we keep on running. The reason being because of the positives that it has and the potential that it could bring to some of the other plants should they be crossed with this cultivar. What are some of those? Thanks for asking, Alfredo. Oh, Some of those Christ. positives should be pretty easy to spot. For example, the beauty of the plant itself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, starting off with the color. Some light purple trending towards that lavender always adorns this plant. However, because it's so trichome, it's not a word. that purple sometimes ends up looking white. Wow. And that's racist. Structurally, the nugs are very dense. And that is true all the way down to the bottom nugs, which helps when it comes to the yield of this plant as it all adds up. Top shelf nug porn for this one on the jar. And while JD has commented on the smell of this plant, how enjoyable it is to him, I found it lacking on my end. While in flower, the nose of this plant is pretty much mute to me. Probably cause smells don't speak. And I'm only able to pick up something once it's jarred up. That nose to me comes off as a little bit of honey. Maybe that brown sugar. <laughs> But again, that dissipates once I smoke it. 62.45 grams, or about 2.23 ounces for the Kairos. We move on <laughs> to the Grandpa's Cookies R2V1 from Ethos. Yo, I've been wanting to Yeah, give it up. Time. One of the most prettiest plants that we had. This one pretty Mine. much had it all. Size. Check. Structure. Check. Smell. Check. Frost. And. Yeah. Cut at week number 10, this Woo. is one of the synthetically ran plants. It mixes Grandpa's Cookies number 11 with Grandpa's Cookies number 6. So it is a very stable line. And I'm not just saying that because of what they used to make. But we previously ran a different phenotype for this cultivar in season 9. And it's amazing to see just how similar that nug structure was to this one. Down to the leaves of the plant. Nice. Along with the nug structure, another thing that's consistent about this plant is the smell. And it does have a very pleasant nose. The description of it says sandalwood. <laughs> we don't know what that is over here. So my brain picks this up as soap. It's a pleasant smell. Maybe floral. And if I had to pick a bar, I'd go Irish Spring. Stop! Mm. No, 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 if I have to, Just dog. stop! I do plan on running this plant again. However, not because I want to breed it. I actually wouldn't even know what to add to this. I will keep this more as a complete keeper kind of plant. Let's take a minute mm. and talk about long-term storage for these plants. The reason we aim for 60% relative humidity while we're drying is because it's a nice midpoint between the point where the plant is too wet and you might get some mold or rot and where the plant is too dry where you might lose potency and taste. Ideally, I want to hang dry the plants to the point where I could then put it in a jar and within the jar it'll maintain that 60% relative humidity. In order to check for this, I use hygrometers that fit into the mason jars that I use. Ideally, when I place the plants in the jar, I want them to already be below 60% and then I'll use the humidity packs 
efforts to bring that back up. However, if after a few days of having the hygrometer in the jar, I notice that the humidity shoots up above 60, then that'll inform me that I have to burp the jar for however many days it takes until that humidity settles. Thank you, Big Daddy. Now, I know I've said this about the last five plants. We're all eaters. You're into Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, I think we all are. And you want something that'll pad your portfolio. This is the seed that you want. Oh, wow. This is going to give you a return of investment times five. <laughs> really? So pick up your phone and dial that number that you see on screen before it's too late. <laughs> True, that sounded like a threat, but you heard the man. 90 grams. Wow. I know, about 3.21 ounces for the grandpa's cookie. So far, this right. is the highest yielding one that we have. But we still do have a lot of plants to go. But before we get there, let me share a little bit something extra. In case you thought the trip couldn't have gotten any cooler. I hate breaking out of this bus life. Bus life OG, bro. This shit destroy my thumbs every time. This shit been curing for the longest. I'm probably, like I said, yeah, I'm probably like down to my last half, bro. This shit still fuck my thumbs up every time. Yeah, I hate rolling this shit, bro. <laughs> this be tricones and resin, man. Guess what I saw? Ryan's penis! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we saw the Northern Lights. That was my second time. <laughs> yeah. That's, That's crazy, fire. right? Telling you, dog, the whole weekend felt like a movie, dog. Never been on no snowmobile. Cheers. Of a lake, then this magical thing just happens to pop out of the sky. And there was weed. Right? Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, there was. There was a bunch of weed. Because not only did Brian have his own weed, but I make sure to pack a big thing for all of us to have. It was just crazy. The whole thing was just magic. Moving on to another one of the top frostiest cultivars that we got going. Ladies and gentlemen, the frozen OG from Robin Hood. Yeah. A combination of the Brisker OG and banana buttercup. Is that what I think it is? This is a first time run for the channel. Turn, turn that around, dog. 63 to 70 days in flowers was recommended. Why do I taste weed like inside of me? And since this was part of the synthetic side. Wait, is, is that my face? It was in fact cut at week number 10. Is that my face? This plant did have some of the fattest That's nuts. That's crazy. I, I'm helping ventilating. Hello, Judge Judy. This plant did have some of the fattest nugs for this run. This is literally crazy. you just going to get ignored, Oscar. That's what's going to happen you today. You have a rotating <laughs> cat. Long like video, it's... dog. We got things to do. I, I, I'm flabbergasted. But it was also one of the shortest plants. Along with the Orangello, those two were the run to the litter. Now, am I going to run this one again? I don't know, dog. I mean, look at it. It is impressive. But I don't find myself reaching for that jar at all. And while I've gotten some pretty awesome compliments overall on my plants, how they smoke, I haven't heard my cousin or any of his friends that has partaken in this plant specifically point this one out as standing out above the rest. Because of the amount of trichomes this has, obviously this makes for great trim. And in the jar, on the nose, I do get a hint of sweetness in the back. Nothing compared to the runs crossed with layer cake or even the chimera junk. But there is something there. I haven't killed the clone for this plant yet. Yeah, watching this video is kind of hard, because look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. In terms of breeding, what can I see in this? I don't know, man. Maybe add a little bit more height, add a little bit more flavor, or use it to give it frost to a plant that needs it. The tough one, bro. And Alfred, why don't you uh, tell us a little bit more about this? Thank you, Big Daddy. Why would that be? <laughs> Well, 54.5 grams was the total weight for this. About 1.95 ounces for the frozen OG. Nah, rotating this plane head is crazy. So for those keeping count at home, this is the second lowest yield. Only second to the Orangello, of course. And both of these were number one and two in terms of shortness. So yeah, want more yield? Make sure that your plants aren't that short. What the <laughs> fuck is that? Come on, Alfred, be Did nice. that cat come with your nuts, Masher? Because they're there the same you. age. On to some sad news. If you've been following this series, and you know when I moved to this home, that it came along with 10 cats. Damn. I know, and one of them has unfortunately passed on due to old age. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sad moment, but this is for you out there, Chloe, wherever you are. The body's in the deck. Stop, Alfred, stop. Freezing. No, that's up, man. This one, my nigga, this one, my nigga, Chloe, man. Long live my nigga, Chloe, bro. You know what I'm saying? Lighten up this bus life OG for my nigga Chloe, bro. 
Then my dumb ass probably gonna be sleep. I don't know. I don't. At this point, I don't even know why I'm what why I'm doing it to myself other than I just want to taste it. This shit tastes so goddamn good. I'm a roll one for you. Too. Say goodbye. Moment of silence, please. As we move on <laughs> mm. to the biggest plant that we had going, not in terms of height, but in terms of area. This is the All Eyes on Me. Side till I die. From the good people over there at J Dirt Exotic. This plant occupied a two by two space on its own. It was trellis thin and scrogged in in order to increase its yield. Because of that, it didn't get to see the light of day on most of the videos. That's it. Fuck it. It's official. I'm running some in J Dirt Exotics next. Before I run anything else, I'm running some of Jay Dirt shit, bro. Fuck it. It's fish, man. Jay got that fire over there, bro. That we had this season. But we made sure to give it a good coverage when it was harvested a few weeks back. A mix between Skunk Master Flex GMO Cup and the Divine Truffle. The breeder. Yeah, see? That's what I want to I wanna lock in with motherfucking um, Joe and give me everything with the skunk on it, bro. The skunkiest shit. The skunkiest, yeah, I want the skunk, the, all the skunk shit, bruh. Give me the straight skunk shit, bruh. Like, the, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, the, I'm talking about the one that's gonna smoke, the one that's giving, the one that's giving skunk. Like, give me the, yeah. I lock in, let me know what we gotta do with it, bruh. And hell yeah, I, I can't wait to run this goddamn content. Not sure if I ever told you, but all eyes on me cut. Was red or not, but it's Skunk Master Flex cut of GMO and Divine Truffle is gonna bring that plant back down here next time you go to VA too. By the way, oh Joe, be, boy, you being and Nabrowski being VA. Don't you worry about it. I'm gonna lock in with the guys. This plant like did it. warn me it was gonna be a fast grower and heavy yielder. Originally, this plant mm. was in the same tent as the other five organic plants we had running. But true to what he said, it outgrew the space, which is how it ended up in its own tent. Visually, this wasn't too impressive for me as far as frost. This isn't one of those plants that develops a lot of it. Nug size-wise, given the amount of colas we had, I thought it was pretty good. On screen, some pictures sent to me by the breeder illustrating just how fat these nugs could get if you lowered the amount of branches or perhaps increased the amount of soil. Five gallons the fabric pot was yo that's how my catalina wine mixer was dog my catalina wine mixer man the main colors was damn near them bitches was damn near yeah like that was like this big i could i could barely get my whole hand no i couldn't get my whole hand around the main colors that's oh, sh shit i'd have had them big chunkers like that what this plant was in for me and what about the nose well for that a chemical smell is the best way that i could describe it one of those things that stings you on the nose really reminded me of yeah. every time i walk into a dispensary so if you could picture that chemical weed smell that's what this gives me from the breeder however some extra notes for you he says he gets some Lucky garlic right, funk right dirty feet. Feet. Okay. Yeah. yeah give me joe we it bro this the one this the one joe <laughs> say he into that preacher now because it's fuck that, bro. That shit, that shit. That's that's the smoke. That's that's the smell. That's the, what you. I want to walk past and have a motherfucker jealous of me. I want to walk past a motherfucker and bitch get envious. You know what it is, bro. That font, that dank, that stank, man. I want that right there. Plant was the whitest one that we had. I did ask for you guys to give me your best guess as to how much weight this was gonna pull. So where did we end up with? And who guessed the closest? Drum roll, please. The champ is here! Okay. The champ is fair, here! Fair enough, it was. They'll probably smoke that. Total weight for the All Eyes on Me, 117.5. Yeah, Diane, I've been over here the whole time. They be hating on me. I don't know what at the fuck, at this point, I don't know what the fuck it is. Hell yeah, they be hating on me. I've been over here the whole time. Graham. Okay. With just about 4.2. <laughs> yeah. Now these were the closest two guesses. However, one of them didn't specify. So shout out to Chaotic Rage. He knows what you're talking. About. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> How you doing? You enjoying yourself out there? Yeah. You, you guys doing good? Oh, they're having a blast. Have you hit the like button yet? Yeah, because you've been here for like 30 minutes. Here we go. I'm not only just saying you've been enjoying my work for 30 minutes and you haven't hit the like yet, so I'm just. 
kind of bringing it up. Here tonight. it comes. Y y you're not the kind of person that hits the like button on, on videos that you watch for having. Get the fuck out of my channel. Get their oh, ass, God. bro. Yeah, I hit the motherfucker already. Get yeah, them, bro. Yeah, no, seriously. Them, bro. Leave them. and take your little Get subscription them. with you, too. We don't consume yeah. empty calories around here, and I don't allow leeches into my life. Get the fuck out of here. Yep. Moving on yeah. to the brunch cross with layer cake from Barney's Farm. Oh, yeah. Oh, you thought we were sweet over here. Right? Do I look like the Kool-Aid man or something? What is sweet, though, is the nose on this plant right this here. This channel different, dog. We don't want you. Second time run for this channel. The first time we had a way better outcome. Because of that, what started off as excitement for me when I popped this seed ended up as disappointment. That said, I want to give a shout out to Mad Max, Patreon of this channel. What up, homie? Who gifted me this pack of seeds. Because of its small nug size and leafy structure, this plant was one of the worst ones to trim. Or at least the most annoying. One. Grade A trim, though, that's for sure. And the plant itself is extremely crisp. The sweetness that came out of the leaves as I trim is also a very impressive feature of this plant. Just like the mm. Chimera Junkie, it is that candy sweetness rather than nah. that citrus, orange, or fruit sweetness that I got, for example, in the orange and the last plant that we're about to go over. I forgot anything else to contribute about this plant for us? Of course I do. Thank you, Big Daddy. Runch, cross, with layer, cake. Okay. <laughs> Listen to the words carefully. Layer, cake. Right, right, I'm with you, I'm with you. Are you layering? Diane and Bill. Hey. You're cake. Okay, I think I'm following. Cake is another word for money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So are you layering your money? Okay, valid, valid question. By diversifying your portfolios of seeds. That's what I want to know. You know, that ain't even bad, Alfred. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, Because this one right here is going to appreciate value tenfold. Mm. You got that. <laughs> now, because it is so trichomy, this plant does look pretty sexy in the jar. And I also do find the smoke to be pretty strong on this one. I believe we do have more yeah. seeds of this, and given that we had better experience with our last try, perhaps we'll pop in another seed, try luck a third time, and see what happens. So where we finish at with this one, 47.5 grams, or 1.69 ounces for the runs cross with layer cake. Officially making this the second least yielding out of all our plants. And since we only have one more left, I can pretty much assure you that is gonna hold that spot now since i took 20 seconds of this video to acknowledge the people that don't contribute anything to this channel Savage. the least Look i can do boy, is take toe. that amount of time and double it to thank the people that and that is the people that support us on the patreon oh, my boy, yeah. my in the beard. if you're in the way but i still gotta make a living and you still wanna watch so patreon is a way for you to support this channel economically so thank you to logan <laughs> for helping me bring you videos like this <laughs> Thank you to Derek G for helping me buy the next cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. That's a real one. From the land of down under. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without my people. Always see this gentleman in the comments dropping the some love. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see grow. What up, homie? And the final new member to the Patreon before we move on to our last plan. Ladies and gentlemen, Sir Mounty 0211. Oh, yeah. Sounds fast. Yeah, thank you all. And thanks to the existing members, of course. All links in the description. Should you want to be part of this. Alfred and I very much appreciate it. If you want to do a one-time tip or something like that, it's a cash app address right there for your convenience. Want to send something uh, for my cousin and I to get some food. You know how that go. Moving uh, on. To the final plant we're going to be covering in this video, and that is the Red Pineapple Tie from Coalition C Company. Oh, yeah. This one has been a pretty big hit with the people that have tasted it here in Alaska. Oh, my God. That one looked like a bitch to trim. I would not want to trim that plant. All of my cousin's friends, etc. And mainly because of its snow. No surprise there, as we did have a keeper cut of this previous mm. year. This unfortunately was one of the ones that we actually lost in the move to Alaska. And we just couldn't get it back. So this is a second seed. And unfortunately for me, not one that matches up to the old one. Same deal as with the runs crossed with layer cake. Once you run a plant, you pop another seed. It's almost like you expect some of those qualities to carry over plant to plant. And when you don't get that, you get disappointed. Even though there isn't anything to be disappointed about. Comparison is the thief of joy. That's what they say. Dang. One of the I'm things I don't it. like about this iteration of this plant is its structure. While it is big, it is lacking a little bit of that density that I mm -hmm. need. In comparison to its sister plant, it's also not as trichomy. And in the past, this plant would fade to a beautiful array of colors. Whereas this one just ended up green. <laughs> it is like normal. Don't get me wrong, nothing wrong with a green plant. It's just I've seen this purple. <laughs> 
And I've seen this red. Now, that's the perk mm. point about this plant. And what everyone has been commenting on is the smell. Now, I've mentioned that in the past while growing its sister. While this plant has pineapple in the name, what I get is mango from it. And this nice. one's no different. It is superb smelling. However, I just can't get myself there. Where I'd see myself running this plant again. Because it's just lacking so many of the other things that we've seen it do before. I'm almost more inclined to just pop a new bean. Let the weed god sort it out. So what do we end up with with this plant? As far as yield, we got 65.3 grams or 2.33 ounces with all the plants measured and accounted for it's nothing else to do but to get to the final numbers and see how we did this grow we had three tents going in flower a two by two space and two oversized two by four tents each measuring 2.3 by 4.6 feet gives us a total of about 25 feet square we ran four lights in total at 80 to 85 percent power ultimately giving us 940 watts consumed so how much weight does that get 25 feet square and 140 watts of power and we received 815 grams for the mathematically nice. challenged that'd be 1.82 pounds we gonna smoke good this summer and hey man <laughs> 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 A couple minutes later, we were eating hot dogs in this snow. Listen, shout out to white people, man. Shout out to white people. <sighs> also got to do a little shooting out there. We're doing all the boy stuff. What other boy stuff you guys did in that cab? Oh, come on. Respect yourself. Oh, don't be shy Respect now. Respect yourself. <laughs> but that's it. I think that's the end of the video. I can't believe we made it, man. I can't believe you made it. So if you're here and you already hit the like button, you're not subscribed, there's only one thing to do between us. Same thing Brian and you did. Sh shut up, Alfred. Let's take the next step and commit. See? And again, if you're the type of person that doesn't hit the like button, don't subscribe. We'll pass on you. I'll just see you when I see you. Outside of that, man, in case no one else toots my horn, I put this video against any of y'all. I'm talking to all of y'all. Best cannabis content. As a matter of fact, y'all can fight That's for number right. two. I'll see you guys next time. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't even compete, man. That man got this shit. That man got this shit, man. That boy do a thing with these motherfucking weed videos, bro. <coughs> and I see this one. Ooh, bro, got yeah. this shit. Hold on, I need a uh, quick little song break though. Cause when the weed be going, when the weed be going, my ears start tingling. I be needing the slaps. Country looking for me, cause I'm still in the trap. Hey, I just made the beat, you know that motherfucker slap. I might hit a bitch a hundred times, no cap. Hey, blowing straight out the pack, bitch, back with an infect. Whoa, mirror, mirror, the wall. Peter Piper picking this thing right here, I'ma pick him off. Feeling pressure every time a harvest drop, I'm taking off. He oblivious, obviously, I'm outstanding over all. Peach berry. I want to hear about them peach berries. That's 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 it. That's it. This one. Whoa. Motherfucking bus life, OG man. Mm. Damn. Bad, bad. Bubble runs, hit it twice, maybe once. Purple punch, peach crescendo, crisscross, make it jump. Everybody want on some peach berry bubble gum. Hell yeah, that a yummy yum. Peach berry bubble gum. In the street, comfortable. They know I got heat scared. Everybody rock with me, cause I got that peach berry. Then I hit the streets with that motherfucking peach berry. Die hoes eating meat for that motherfucking peach berry. I can't even sleep, all I'm thinking about is peach berry. Sunday, I'm a pre by that motherfucking peach berry Let a nigga speak By that motherfucking peach berry You ain't mob, I'm creeping By that motherfucking peach berry You ain't get it from me There ain't no motherfucking peach berry Boy, this shit get deep By that motherfucking peach berry I'm talking like six feet By that motherfucking peach berry It is, but ain't shit sweet By that motherfucking peach berry Nah, I'm talking like, bro If that shit ain't come from my hands to your back wood or like <laughs> from my hand to your garden or like from, one from one of my dogs, dogs like, like from me that, that ain't a motherfucking peach. You know
Now I'm right back on the peach, bed. The boy in my jack for the peach, bed. There go another notification. It's coming in March, they patiently waiting. The conversation is peach berry. Want him a sack of the peach berry. I might get attacked for the peach berry. I ain't been playing my phone, still jumping in peach berry. Got a nigga on the sun. I ain't even hit him with the ooh la la. Yeah, bro, if you know me, I keep me some fly shit. Can't get me that thing back to the peach. Got a pack of no head straight to the beach. Try and get my dogs in the groove like me. I'm taxing the flowers, love on seeds. Boy, they gotta pay to play, no tears. I've been in the lab for years. Now I'm just shifting gears. Had to face all my fears. Now I'm trying to write my wrongs. So I snap out of that song. Spitting by the highs and lows. Same shit, new commode. Like, I done had everything, including your hoe. Then lost everything, including control. But never losing my soul. We talking life, dog. You know how it go. You only get one. I'm put here to grow. Shit, what you here for? Man, man, man. Don't think about this shit too long, bro. Hit it twice, maybe it once. Purple punch, peach crescendo, crisscross, make it jump. Everybody want on some peach berry bubble gum. Hell yeah, that they yummy on peach berry bubble gum. Any street comfortable, they know I got heat scared. Everybody rock with me, cause I got that peach berry. Then I hit the streets with that motherfucking peach berry. Die hoes and meat for that motherfucking peach berry. Got the block high, it ain't even in the jar yet. Not accepting any pre or before harvest, peach berry pie, that uh, might be my next target. target. Try and jack the mob, uh, he might be the next uh, target. target. In the kitchen, apron and the canvas, culinary artist. Target. I just whipped up the next biggest shit that hit the market. Target. Had a dream that my cuisine would make sure no one's starving. Yeah. Everything in my life a dream, I hope your phone on the charger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the smell of them say, yeah, yeah Hit it in the head, yeah, the peach berry, a uh, hell, yeah Her mama got it, yeah, yeah, I'm falling out like, hell, yeah Strapped up with it, yeah, yeah, that bitch ain't like my hell, yeah Pass the rock, then spit the block, now I'm Sebastian Telfair Your baby daddy, daddy was broke, and mama was on welfare I can't rock with a nigga, I don't know no else on my poor car, pussy ass nigga, I ain't no failure I'ma get rich or die trying by the pee bear, I ain't lying uh, In the club on my birthday, I ain't getting shot now time uh, I be turned on Thursday, cause the weekend grind time Everybody finna get paid, bitch, you know I finna get mine Yeah, I been waiting on my turn, dog. might take a little more time And I'm quick to kick a nigga bitch out the mix, she just left on pound time Soon as the peace bubble gun hit the streets, you know it's going down Yeah, bitch, we finna get rich, I'ma play this shit while I blow out the pound See, I'm good for a couple more of them, cause, shit, that's how I'm feeling, man. Lost on the road, don't know how I'm going, but I will find out tomorrow. Happy today, father came, why don't have to ask a bag or borrow? My life is a movie, I just keep it moving, allow me to spare you sorrow. Man, too much whooping, shit hit different, on my way to Chicago. I put way too much love in the game, and that's ain't here, but I'm bro. No point, got for the team, boy, I try and get a ring with these niggas, let it hang show. Man. Ain't trippin' no shit, and long as my bitch, they get it, sit in the front row. Go. Who the fuck said money don't go on treat me? Please, I'm making that cash, bro. Hey. Sorry, I find my ass, ho. Hey. Stride the mud, the sticks, the bricks, low drive and raise no down, ho. Niggas ain't even cut like that, bro. What the fuck you playin' for? Stand on everything I say, and you heard what I said, ho. Yo, woke up this morning, counting money from the night before. Bosses at the dope, bro. The neighbor think I'm selling dope. My bitch don't need smoke, her ass look like it from Mexico. And everything natural, spitting actual, factual. Uh, back on the road, and I don't look back, cause I already know it's a tough show. Every time I touch greatness, they take it, I hate you, awful. Damn. When I lay down that night, I gave it my all, getting out of this office. Pray to God every day, say fuck the hate, my hand on the cross. Lost on the road, don't know where I'm going, but I We'll find out tomorrow Happy today, father came Why don't have to ask and beg or borrow My life is a movie, I just keep it moving Allow me to spare you sorrow Man. Too much whooping, shit hit different On my way to Chicago I know that's why I don't want to spot Man, that's a lot Why I walk to the top Just want my spots and want my pops
Ain't shit sweet when your mob on the beat But the title will be, I was born to compete I'ma let you know what the numbers don't show These bitch ain't nigga can't fuck with me The money you niggas been for in the week I walk over there and cash out by my sleep Talk too much, can't shot with me Keep that on the hush, cause we push a pee They been trying hard, but them niggas ain't me Look like air letter, but you ain't G Stay in the kitchen, your nigga cookin' I ain't going back for a D, nigga pussy Uh, oh, bad bitch, bust a dime Just put a cell, men a meal That's a touchdown It's a bunch of fuck, nigga mad Cause we up now Made it to the top floor, bitch I can't calm down Back on the road and I don't look back Cause I already know it's a talk show Wait, Every time I touch greatness They take it, I hate you awful Wait, When I lay down that I gave it My all getting out this office hey, Pray to God every day Say fuck the hate My hand on the cross Lost on the road, don't know how I'm going But I will find out tomorrow Happy today, father came Why I don't have to ask or beg or borrow My life is a movie, I just keep it moving Allow me to spare you sorrow Too much whooping, shit hit different On my way to Chicago Lost on the road, don't know how I'm going Said that ladies like me, that shit very likely That's why these niggas bite it, they wanna be just like me Said that ladies like me, that shit very likely That's why these niggas bite it, they wanna be just like me Know your girl to hold it, baby, it's a handful See your hoe, I do the most, she say I'm a handful I be trippin', can't control it, sometimes I'm a handful I can't stand, when they get to the band, talkin' handful The new green on deck, they need smoke where they at? Titties, check, ass, fat. That my type. Where you at? You a catch. Where my net? Mama fly. Where my jet? Her she got a nigga. But that nigga got niggas. Pussy nigga, I know he don't know what to do with that. Let it pop. I'ma make it rock. I'ma make it go so hard. She gon' tell me stop. Yeah, I'ma chop it up like I made it drop. Yeah, color bend it over, but she made it drop. Try to hit a one, but she don't wanna stop. For the baby mama, now I got her off. Try to hit a one, but she don't wanna stop. For the baby mama, now I got her off. So the ladies like me, that shit very likely That's why these niggas bite it, they wanna be just like me Say the ladies like me, that shit very likely That's why these niggas bite it, they wanna be just like me Tell your girl to hold it, baby, it's a handful See your hoe, I do the most, she say I'm a handful I be trippin', can't control it, sometimes I'm a handful I can't stand, when they get to the band, talkin' handful Ayy, new word, same scale, new clientele same play, new cell I had to stop beefing for one of them bitches tell I can't hear the bitch I'm sitting in the cell I stay in my lane cause they want me to fail I can't take the envy, I don't like the smell Caught him with a girl, bro, don't know he finna share Shit, I might take it, bitch, and keep her to myself Try to hit a one, but she don't wanna stop For the baby mama, now I got her off Try to hit her once, but she don't wanna stop Fuck that baby mama, now I got her off Said the ladies like me, that shit very likely That's why these niggas bite it, they wanna be just like me Said the ladies like me, that shit very likely I've been doing that a lot myself I forgot, I think it was one of the Mendo boys Who I uh, heard say, when you prune the water leaves Hit the stem like halfway or leave a lot of stem because it's going to hold nutrients in the stem and let it dry for five life on its own versus trying to hit them super close to the stem. You know what I mean? It kind of save yourself from the shock of pruning when you leave some stem. I heard somebody say that, so I started doing it. And I mean, I don't, to me, I feel like it's bro science, but I like that you caught that. I think that's dope that you caught that. That's dope as hell that you caught that. Likely, that's why these niggas bite it. They wanna be just like me. Said that that is like. I still wanna hear this motherfucker. This music got me moving, man. I've been drinking. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
Rams at. I just top the tree, look at this tree, try one of them Rams at. I'ma make one of spin. Hop in the water with them. You ain't never seen Nick swim. That boy shot big fins. Don't get back there running shit, so I bought a hoe and be a fins. Uh, put two grinds in the back with a twist that bitch, not stuff in the wind. Mama got a body like a Benz. She know you were going for the win. Set a little partner over there, smell that old boy, I want her friend. Shake it, shake it, ay, ay, shake it, shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, ay, ay, shake it, shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, ay, ay, shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, shake it, ay, ay, shake it, ay, baby. Baby, I love me shake like that. Baby, love when I'm touching that paper like this. Count up a set, run on racks. Fuck when I look, then make it all back. Thank this court, I'm doing that cat. No refund, she throwing it back. Mom, the only thing she jack. Why just buy one, take the stack. Start out the mood with this shit. I won't fuck me that bitch. That first fuck niggas in the back. Boy, these niggas be in push, big cat. I don't see the nigga where I be at. They know that I'm the one that put the mob on the mouth. Uh, every nigga coming after me, bitch, that shit count. Uh, if I flip the switch, the pussy won't eat, that's a fact. Uh, if I flip that Sweet that watch out for them folks and black, yeah. I might throw a nigga half, I won't ask for shit back, yeah. When it's time to re re come and see me, that's a fact, yeah. I done put some niggas on just like that, yeah. I ain't stingy with it, come and get it, you know it's it, yeah. I ain't slipping too weak, so I'm outside trying to get it. My baby love when I walk in the house and I got that bag with me. I'm collecting rubber, little bro, run them bands up. I just top the tree, little LST, try to run them grams up. I'ma make money I spend. Hop in the water with them. You ain't never seen Nick swim. Uh, that boy shot big fins. Fuck me, back there running shit, so I bought a hoe and be a fins. Uh, put two grinds in the back with a twist, that bitch not stuff in the wind. Mama got by like a Benz. She know you were going for the win. Set a little partner over there, smell that old boy, want her friend. Shake it, shake it, ayy, ayy, shake it, shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, ayy, ayy, shake it. Shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, hey, hey, shake it, baby, baby, shake it, shake it, shake it, hey, hey, shake it, hey, hey. Talk about I'ma got me to the light, add to the boat to a pass, wanna get to the action. Promise if I catch him like I'm going on so fast, you don't see a habit. I waste no time to speak in my mind, I don't want to watch your status. Cut from a home and cough. Promise she ain't seen this fabric. She like me, charged up when I touch, when I slide, it's a lot shit tablet. Five and bitch, she hit ten minutes, I'm coming right back in the attic. Lot in the group by the five man, two for you, I already know I'm a dragon. Her sister, a friend, her auntie, cool, don't bring your brother, here, a faggot. Yeah, I know what I say, understand that shit, we don't need to drag it. Seen so many niggas switch up, transforming in traffic. If it's all that, they can have it, I already well known and established. My body, soul still attached. Hop in that bitch and I spit with a passion. I ain't sneak this and that, nigga, if I ain't say it, I ain't keep mashing. I just call it how I see it, dawg. It's a lot of fuck shit happening. Everybody time my cat, but what about the folks in that set traffic shit? Whole bunch of niggas quiet, high from that ill list. I'm collecting rubber, little bro, run them bands up. I just top the tree, little LST, try to run them grams up. I'ma make money I spin. Hop in the water with them. You ain't never seen Nick swim. Yeah. That boy shot big fins. Fuck me, thought they run the shit, so I bought a hoe and be a fins. Uh, put two grinds in the back with a twist, that bitch not stuff in the wind. Mama got by like a bitch. She know you were going for the win. Set a little partner over there, smell that old boy, want her friend. Why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my things. I think she wanna be bitch. I hit you back to back, man. I don't miss. Buck up with that bubble boy. Get you some real stick. Why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my things. I think she wanna get bitch. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bro boy, get you some real hey, dick. Hey. Big dick, baby. Try and turn that pussy to a picnic, baby. Thin and thick, I don't give a shit, better get your lady. Uh, in the mind, I take up time to how I drive her crazy. Uh, next one riding straight to the heart, and I got it racing. She can feel it all in her gut and drop to the basement. You know I ain't leaving the spot till her knees shaking. Walk in the door, she turn around butt naked. I ain't even gotta say shit. Mind, body, soul, usually my destination. Was born for this shit, I don't need preparation. I get total control after the stimulation. Then she get codependent and start fearing separation. Never said I knew everything, but this one here I know. She won't never find another nigga like me for sure. I ain't finna be in your face all day, little baby on the go. Whoa, coming back soon as I get that motherfucking dough. Why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bubble, boy. Get you some rich dick. Why me crack that soul, boy? I'm too soaking it, bitch. Little mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that bubble, boy.
get you some hey, weed dick, man. Hey. She put that dress on, got that ass looking fat. Mm-hmm. I love my wallet and my shirt, I'm coming back. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're around town, we don't wanna buy them packs in. Last weekend, I was with cool them back in. Kicked it with my OG, I had to see my dog again. Nigga told me do it, be it, fuck it, now I'm shat twin. Too busy winning to be worried about that hate shit. And it's still mob, only no time for no fake shit. Still show a lot of love, fuck nigga, still hating that being high wood. Fuck it. And I'm still talking cheddar, backwoods on the dresser. Yeah, I want me a Tesla. Tell your bitch I want wrestle. Bite her on her neck, bet I make her wet. Mm-hmm. If she fuck with you, she ain't you never yet. Real van shit, 520 AM on the jet. Big van shit, I sent her home, bleeding out of neck. Why me crank that soul to the boy? I'm too soaking this bitch. Lil' mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that broke boy, get you some rich dick. Why me crank that soul to the boy? I'm too soaking this bitch. Lil' mama like my fans. I think she wanna get bit. I hit you back to back, mama, I don't miss. Break up with that broke boy, get you some rich dick. Hey, 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 hey. It's a collaborative effort right now. <laughs> the bud in the background, that shit vibing. I don't give a fuck about none of that old weird shit. And the night ain't the night, dog. I don't, you know what I'm saying? For my, hey, for my folks who rock with me that's here from Uncut, the night ain't the night. Me personally, to be fucking around over there, because. I still feel like, I'm like, damn, dog. I just wonder how many more motherfuckers been talking behind my goddamn back, my nigga. I just wonder. How many? And I ain't even got time to be goddamn even thinking like that. Come be done cussed everybody the fuck out. That's what's gonna end up happening. Salute my nigga KB. For real, for real. Uh, I'm still sick. Back like what up? Uh, top behind, I'm back now. Nah, what up? Fuck it. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Yeah, I'm back like what up, bitch Top behind my back, shut the fuck up, bitch Watch how you move, I cut up, bitch Got my knife fucked up, I nut up, quit Too much motion, wanna stop my shit hey. Hold up one second, let me pop my shit hey. Them haters won't quit, been New York, bitch As I'm making shit, yeah, my nigga, watch this Last name, man, hey. first name, David I press a pussy, nigga, you press me No, 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 Damn, Wait. these niggas be sweet as fuck. Hey, I'm still hungry, hey, finna hey, eat a hey, bitch up. Stepping hey, on shit when he winning, I'm not diabetic. I ain't scared of no sugar. I'm yeah. crossing every uh, line and say I win. Uh, ain't shit sweet, uh, but these niggas uh, still putting. Got that boy passes, knew that I shouldn't. That's why I'm still eating, they thought that I would. Yeah, I'm back like, what up, bitch? Top behind my back, shut the fuck up, bitch. Watch how you move, I cut up, bitch. Got my name fucked up, I nut up, quick. Too much motion, wanna stop my shit. Hold up one second, let me pop my shit. Them haters won't quit, been New York, bitch. That's a mess, see a hell, my nigga, watch. Yeah, I'm back like what up, bitch Top behind my back, shut the fuck up, bitch Watch how you move, I cut up, bitch Got my knife fucked up, I nut up, quit Too much motion, wanna stop my shit Hold up one second, let me pop my shit Them haters won't quit, been New York, bitch That's a Mason C, yeah, my nigga, watch this You doing your thing, I can grab the How the fuck you mad, how I don't want your fingers How the fuck I pop up with the latest I come out the mud and I grind with the tapers Two years ago, told my mama I made it Made like a king, cause my first name is David Don't keep killing shit, just like Vaughn Stacking that paper, I'm fucking my lady. Wanna be more? Okay, follow the rules. You ain't cut like me, I ain't fucking with you. Keep pissing me off, I'ma knock shit loose. I'm out the one, the three, or the two. Fuck, make a nigga think I'm scared of him. You boy, no pussies, I ain't one of them. Walking on water, head of butter rim. Bitch, come by the beach, let's see if you swim. Whoa, whoa. It's yeah, your boy still in the game, they say I was gon' fall off. Was smoke this bitch so bad, I think I'm having withdrawals. 
Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I'm back like what up, bitch. Top behind my back, shut the fuck up, bitch. Watch how you move, I cut up, bitch. Got my knife fucked up by nut up. Hey, too much most won't stop my shit. Hey, hold up one second, let me pop my shit. Whoa. Them haters won't quit. Been New York, bitch. That's a mess. I see a hell my nigga. Watch this. Hey. hey. shit right here in this thumbnail but i'm saying like to my experience it's literally that shit be on a a lot of it be the camera you know what i'm saying like of course it's plants that are frostier than others but a really 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 frosty plant on camera gonna look crazy like like a really frosty plant and person gonna look crazy on camera so that's literally what it is and why like we all get a little bit of goddamn motherfucking like damn nigga i want my shit to look like that but it's only it's it's like it's for the simple fact that you uh you know how motherfuckers saying show business the camera add 10 pounds you know what i'm saying the camera add 10 pounds to everybody type shit so, it's, it's the same thing when we looking at these plants and looking at the trichomes, you know what I'm saying? The camera adding a little bit of sauce to it, where if we was to get the pack in person, it'd be like, oh, okay, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So, that's not like, but for real, for real, a frosty-ass goddamn plant gonna look stupid on camera, you know what I mean? And we all done seen some shit that's like, okay, now this that fine. 
So imagine what that shit gonna look like on camera. You know that that that's ba that's what it is more or less. What's going on, guys? Z Pilot here with another <clears throat> Harvest Day update. I'm damn near willing to bet that thumbnail came from about like that bud right there. The thumbnail came from something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is. <laughs> it came from that side. Week nine and a half or day six. This shit came from that sector. D7 of, of flower. We fed the fuck out of these plants. I be kind of scared to push my plants this hard, but yeah. You can see all in the leaves. He pushed the fuck out of these plants as far as like as mu how much nutrients he can give them. But the buds, shit, the buds look solid. I know it's gonna take forever for these hoes to cure though. <laughs> like, he ain't gonna be able to smoke them bitches from when he when he dropped this video a day ago. Yeah, he ain't gonna be able to smoke this shit till the summertime. <laughs> All the motherfuckers, cause you can tell he pushed the fuck out the plants. Looking at the leaves, heat, nutrients in between, like light and nutrients. He went and. Think, yeah, he definitely getting the most that these plants can do. One of the Mars FC 8000. I had one extra strain, but I had. See, yeah, let them keep doing as long as you smoke good. Fuck them people, man. Yeah. yeah. Cut it down early. I'll explain it a little bit. So, it was a six strain grow. We had. The UAV. Number two. This is Alien Mints uh, or the Cap Junkie crossed with Gush Mints. Then we got the UAV number four, Fino. We had the Caramel Skittles that I had to cut down a little early. Too close to the light, right? They, yeah, you can see it, right? The leaves look like they're hard as shit already. You can you can see, but the buds, shit. Fuck them goddamn leaves. The motherfucking buds look really right. <laughs> the buds look like they're right. You can tell it's gonna take a long time for them to cure, though. For sure. Red rum, red pop, crossed with gushments. All those four, I if he ain't fry the turps off, that's one thing too. Cause that's a like, if it's it's one thing to push them as far as they could go, and then it's one thing too to do, like had a light, you know what I'm saying? Had a light, motherfucker, smoke your weed for you. You put that shit in a blunt, it's gonna taste like air, like you know what I'm saying? So that that could like she. Ah, oh, and that's the worst. You get a big ass pretty nug, you put that bitch down in the blunt and it don't taste like nothing. <laughs> oh my god. That's the worst. Myself. But nah, them bud the buds look like that's straight though, cause you could if the buds were burnt, you would see it. You'll see it on the calyxes. Them buds are good. Um Error five oh three. Yeah, it's damn sure time to chop these motherfuckers. They, hey, I, me personally, I had them motherfuckers in the dark. It's time to chop these hoes. Damn, that bitch that frost is fucked though. This one might, damn. It's gonna be them under nugs on this plant. Like, them, the top's gonna be like, all right, cool. They pretty. But them nugs up under that bitch is gonna fuck a nigga up. Like, everything up under the top, boy, that shit gonna be that pressure. That's gonna be that shit on this plant. Frosty beast. Ooh. It's rumored to be um, dipping sticks across with chimera. Mm. And then. Chimera getting pretty popular, dog. It's a lot of goddamn chimera and permanent marker running around out here. Here's another shot of that red room. Look at that massive coat. That fucker stacked. Damn. It's no internodal space. And you see that shit? Look at this cola. That's why he got them lights close like that to get that stacking. He, he, yeah, and he then, pushed them. You know, there you getting that stacking. I don't know. That's why he got them lights close. 
Coca-Cola. Gee. Yes. Beautiful. It smells so freaking ah, good. Damn. Sorry about that. And this is the fudge truffle. Stack stupid. And if it's any space, it's a big ass bud there. Or white truffle crossed with. Oh, he pushed these. He pushed these. He pushed the hell out of them. Cinnamon cookies by Sin City Seeds. Shit, I'm looking at the plant too. I think. See, I don't even think he can lift the light. Like, I, if he wanted to, I don't think he could lift the light higher. I think the motherfuckers just reach to the light. Solid, solid run, guys. And now leaning. Like, they reached up that high then leaning. He got them double trellis. You can see he put a double trellis net on the motherfuckers. That's a tall-ass strain he running. Really happy with that. So, yeah, and that light jack. The light jack right up under the motherfucking, um... <clears throat> right up under the ventilation, it can't go no higher. That's just a tall ass strain he got right there, and that motherfucker stacking like that. That bitch stacking like gang members, boy. God, so much. What happened to the caramel skittles? So basically, the buds got super fat, and because I pruned it so well, easy. And I noticed a little bit of bud rot in the center of them. The strain could be a little more sensitive to, to bud rot. Um, I've got it running in another ten at week two of flower, so I'll watch it carefully. Um, no, cut that shit out of that. Cut it, cut, cut it, cut it. Now I ain't gonna do nothing to get to your other shit. Then you have a big ass tent full of moldy ass buds, and there's some big ass buds anyway, bro. But. I'll be a little more careful, see what happens. But yeah, smells freaking amazing. So I had to take it down a little early. I had to toss uh, some of the fattest buds. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but mm. I'll know next time to look, you know, to uh, be a little more careful, make sure yeah. it's got that shit happened. plenty of airflow right on that. I ended up adding this second circulation fan just a week ago, but um, I had one, so I, I mean, I have, one up here and another one in the back yeah, he got it but big. ideally right. i would have had a circulation fan here and a circulation fan there from the start um, i had one at the bottom too but you know you can never really have too much too many of those fans uh, my humidity was okay but sometimes what happens um, with the lights off cycle they'll get as soon as the lights turn off the moisture inside the buds in older, especially in older tents, man. My my newer tents, humidity is in the fucking forties. In the same fucking room, less than less than twenty feet away, the very first tent that I got myself. Now. Now, I be struggling to keep the humidity down and that motherfucker to the point where I'm overcompensating with dehumidifiers and the humidity in the room itself be like floats in between fucking 41 and don't get no higher than 55, but still inside of that tent, the hygrometer will read that it struggles to stay below 60 like I'm literally fighting tooth and nail to keep that tent below 60 every day and at this motherfucking point I don't know if that spot in the room is OD humid or it's just that the tent is old as fuck and not goddamn dissipating the humidity how it's supposed to but I just put a brand new motherfucking filter inside of there I put a brand new carbon filter on the fan, and like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know if it's like, if the tech that's old or the tent that's keeping it up, but the rest of the tents, exactly where I need them to be. My bed's tent, perfect, sweet spot every day, and the rest of my motherfucking tents, 
where they need to be super low humidity through this flowering period because I don't want mold. And like I'm saying, I'm over, I'm overcompensating for the fucking humidity. So if I go in, if I if I was to walk in my grow room right now and look at the dehumidifier and the hygrometers in every tent except for that one, that bitch if it be over fifty five, I'd be surprised. Like if you know what I'm saying, if motherfuckers over fifty five in the flower tents, I would definitely be surprised, so and I'm looking at this plant right here. This one got powdery mildew. Damn. It's some powdery mildew on this one right here. I don't know if he's seen it or not, but I can see it on the leaf right there. But he running six goddamn plants too, man. And that's the thing, man. When you trying to go wild to wild, like, and you trying to make sure you feel space, bro, If the tent itself, where if that if that environment not keeping that humidity down, you fucking yourself over. That's why it's like I'm at this point. I'm not running no more than a specific number because, like, trying to pack it out and trying to force the wild to wild with plants. It ain't worth it when you got to throw half of the shit away because it got motherfucking mold or powder mildew on it. And if it's powder mildew, then you down there need to throw all of it away type shit. Unless you got something like, you you got to throw that shit away. Keep it a bean. Ain't no need to keep it in a moldy ass bud or trying to save it, preserve it. Or is I seen machines, they got something called the box now. If you can put moldy bud in it. <clears throat> The the fucking box would kill all the mold that's on the bud, and you can infuse it with terpenes after it take all of the mold and all of everything out the bud. You can infuse it with terpenes and then like consume it or do what you're gonna do with it. But man, fuck all of that, man. You see, fucking like that's nah, fuck nah. I don't want to smoke that shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to smoke that shit. So, man, hell yeah. I say, get run the the least amount of plants that you need to maximize your space, and, and don't try to like overdo it. Cause as soon as you water. As soon as you got them feed them plants, that shit got to go somewhere. And all of it ain't going to go to the bud. It's going to evaporate straight into them tents. And that's gonna that's what's going to spike your humidity. So you keep your plant count lower and get heavy producers to fill that shit out. And then you be straight. But damn, bro. Fine line line because them small yield the small yield of plants be with a flavor at sometimes too but i've had heavy producers that have that check every check mark that i need and it produced like i need it too so you know what i mean to make sure i, I get to my next harvest because who like to run out of weed type shit so that shit crazy you know you get a little bit of condensation inside the buds that uh takes a while to dry and if you have some airflow to help dry sometimes the bud structure um, can allow the bud to dry a little bit more uh, more quickly and since just you know I don't haven't figured out but certain strains certain phenols are a lot more resistant resistant to it than others like that train rack is super resistant um, this UAV seems to be really resistant because I've looked in there and even though these buds are like nice and big and dense um, not one bit and so you can check, this is something I always recommend, you know, you, let's check this out, how I would do it. So basically you want to, you know, pull them apart and look in there. Let me turn on the flash if I can. Damn it, it won't let me turn on the flash because I'm using the ultra wide lens, but anyway. You know, so anyway, you, you would see like some gray and 
white stuff and you kind of want to do it without messing up the buds if you can but yeah you would see some like gray and white stuff in there and sometimes you got to look really carefully see this one looks fine I mean this strain us out I'll even I'll even open it up real good so you can see so what you would look for maybe I should have kept one to show you guys that would have been a good teaching moment but um these like see how this pistol is nice and orange well wow, look at look at that resin on my fingernail <laughs> um see how that pistol is nice and orange you would see the pistol look more like brown that's the first sign when your pistol looks brown instead of orange and then you'll have like you'll have almost like a little fuzz around the pistol that's the first sign if you catch it at that point that's fine you can basically just open up the buds like this you know yeah you're gonna ruin your big buds but you're not gonna it's not gonna ruin you'll be able to just cut that away and smoke it no problem uh yeah i'm, I'm but hey, i'm just yeah, i'm done with this shit <laughs> done with this shit You know me, David Mac, yo bet on the track Got my son on the tag, so you know the bitch is smashed Don't be playing by that bad hoe, clip, getting thrashed You gon' make a nigga like me, run into your ass They be asking one I'm from, home fresh, I know I crack And I still got that skill, keep me running up a stack Then fucked up your bitch, brother, get your boyfriend slap Hope you know I ain't scared of nothing, ain't no motherfucking cap You know they serving hoes all day, put hell away we get paid, he through shade, but I can't fuck his bitch, she look like Flavor Flav Taylor made, but I don't do J's, it's backwards all day And we will pack a nigga for a price, my small pay Bitch, I pray every day that I make it out that office He a lying in the sand, now I dab, beat the cross I been running up on bullets, mister, hit you in your shit I don't give a fuck, who he is, bitch, he pretty big Fuck the hype, I don't like a nigga, you like real shit If I have my way, I promise Pussy nigga won't exist Got bail money, lawyer, I don't retain the case I ready to smith Ancestors fuck with me, I won't put them in the mix Straight up, let's get to these bucks Never lay it up If I'm up, I can show you love This shit way it up Better hit the point, bet you won't miss Bet I'm gon' quit, bet they be a hit Bet I'm on my shit You know me, that's your man Young bet on the track Got my son on the tag So you know the bitch is smashed Don't be playing by that bad hoe clip, getting thrashed You gon' make a nigga like me run into your ass They be asking where I'm from, oh, I'm fresh out North Crest And I still got that skill, keep me running up the fast They fucked up your bitch, brother, get your boyfriend slapped Hope you know I ain't scared of nothing, ain't no motherfucking cap Wait, bro, ain't no stop on my career Baby, that broke for the fuck nigga said Then you let the state, you will go and fed That came with that bat, that's ain't back on your head I'm gonna be like some juicy pile of pack Baby, the stick on his back. Baby, bitch, you in that pack. I love it. And I'm with his bitch. Fuck his phone on DND. He put it. Had an argument with it. Cause all the time my hoe had to turn it to the city. 24-7. Then they be hit a block head first. Man, got to kiss. When the sun come up to the beat, go down. I'm sitting around. Man, fuck all the struggles. If I can't get paid, this shit get nigga. I'm sitting on packs. And them bitches must be sick as fuck. I got me some gloves. I love me some blood. But now I'm testing. Let's have a stuff. So down in the wood, I break it out good. Well, hey, y'all listen. See, we on the subject. I'm on that shit all day. Told you. YouTube ain't so nasty. I been running, 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 running. Fuck a bag, give a fuck. Then my haters mad. Got this shit on smash. Still running, 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 running. Of that bag, give a fuck. Who getting mad? Got this shit on smash. You know me, David Mad. Young bad on the track. Got my son on the tag. So you know the bitch is smash. Don't be playing by that bad hoe. Clips getting thrashed. You gon' make a nigga like me. Run into your ass, they be asking where I'm from Home oh, fresh out North Crest And I still got that skill, keep me running up that fast They fucked up your bitch, brother, get your boyfriend slapped Ho, oh, you know I ain't scared of nothing, ain't no motherfucking cap
They can't find me, they can't find me. Down in 504. Mm -hmm. Ain't no pussy out there, I'm grumpy All I wanna do is fuck for country Now I ain't trying to hit him a punchy Look at the waist and I got the money Soon as you walk in and bitch, put my hand on your heel If you dead in your eyes, I don't run Baby, been having that motion, I'm smoking She grooving like still or something Yeah, got a couple flows, you never heard it like this uh, Baby on the beat again, so I can't miss uh, Fuck a one-on-one, -on -one, cause I don't tell who I kiss Bro, you had a good girl, she seen me Now she the one you pitch in the A, AKA I stay your bae, fuck you gon' say I keep my location on every day I hope these little niggas know how to play PTSD when I see him, I spray Little motherfucker, this fuck, I get hard in the face I got a key, I walk in and go crazy She shut up that's how I be tasting, uh Yeah, AP on the beat again, I told Davey Chill Go here with all that rapping shit, we turning up for real Hey, all I need is Bay Jose and better see the deal Trace five in my bag, with his own fuck with pills Ain't no pussy out there, I'm grumpy All I wanna do is fuck from country Now I ain't trying to hit him a plenty Look at the waist and I got the money Soon as you walk in and bitch, put my hand on your hood Look, you dead in your eyes, I don't run it they been having that motion, I'm struggling, she grooving like Stella or something Hey, I can make you two-step, but I can make you bounce, uh She say, baby, make it come, so I'ma make it count, uh All I gotta do is look at you, I'm tryna pull it out, mm. Goddamn boo, you beautiful, had to say that out my mouth Put my tongue on and make it shout, you don't give a fuck about clout And I know that you can keep it secret, cause I ain't never found shit out I be walking the track like a dog, do you hop on that deal like a frog? But you know this cat stay clean, it just slip and slide on that hog Five nine still going live, brick door standing a tall Yo, Long dress, little Abby, baby, I ain't a goddamn thing small Every time you see me know I'm fresh like I just left a fucking mall uh, She say come get slow, now nah, I'ma come get it all Ain't no pussy out there, I'm grumpy All I wanna do is fuck for country Now I ain't trying to hit him a punchy Look at the waist and I got the money Soon as you walk in this bitch, put my hand on your hood Look you dead in your eyes, I don't run it Baby, they're having that motion, I'm struggling She moving like Stella or something Yeah, bitch. Okay, you can't stop a nigga if I sat and tie my shoes, baby. Who they say that fucking with me? Oh yeah, I'm confused. No, but I ain't seen that nigga yet. That came me time my chew. Where that girl standing with you, looking for to be my boo. Yo, I'ma ask her one, she ain't think it twice, we gon' leave She gon' get a text, she gon' tell you she bout to leave Turnin' off the low, try pull up on that bitch, bro, OMG They let one eye, but we need the three God damn, everybody got them on old date tonight Hey, be safe, be safe And I'm just be safe, enjoy yourself, and I'm motherfucking good. <laughs> For real. Fuck that. <laughs> real, these niggas ain't peace. Bitch, we hard like a motherfucker. Brick, come popping that shit. The nigga on ice. All we had to do is support, not doubt some putting a motherfucker life. I fucked the nigga grandma out of spite. This shit I be doing, don't come in on stripes. Dave, don't get it confused by the views. What? Another one fell for the hype. A uh, nigga been on sick around, and I ain't taking no fucking PPE. Looking for a BBL. Out of here, go to BBC. I'm confused, I'm worried about me Cause it's way too many views Mommy thought I already blew up, I been looking for the fuse She took some, they been looking for uh, Broski in the news Bitch, we hard like a motherfucker brick Come poppin' that shit, put a nigga on ice All but they had to do is support Not doc support, they more for the life No, I be wrong sometimes But man, this time I'm alright uh, I put that little gun out for two I can't do like Can't stop a nigga if I stand and quit Saying I ain't gotta say my name no more The phone know who I am yeah, I just
just planting seeds, the whole kind for the pan. Then you hitting different, I can't even explain all the strands. Hey, I set my shit on schedule, I'm trimming peace perpetual. I'm spending bread just for the brand, and shit looking professional. I can't trip off petty shit, no, I can't let it get to me. I'm about to grab this mama bill, now that's the mother dispensary. Fit too hard like a motherfucker brick, come pop that shit, now buddy on ice. All he had to do was support, now dog supporting that motherfucker life. Hey, my specialty that left him, I make a fuck nigga watch it right. Been working on my weakness, that's that shit that they don't like. You hate nine this shit to you, that's the shit that I don't like. Trying to time to a strike, fly soul like a kite. No games, I've been pressing, putting sis aside, buddy. Nigga strange, I ain't got no talk, that's what we talk, right? I love a nigga, cause you fuck it really real. I hope you know my skill work, bitch, I'm fresh up by the trail. Hey, Jane, fuck it with you, boy, they know that shit cow. Talk like that, in a real nigga face, you get slapped. No cow, talk a big shit. Lately, I've been feeling like a goat. Where that confidence come from? Ask your bitch about that throat. I ain't thinking about shit, boy. I be time out what I know. I'm just talking to my niggas, but I don't even rap no more. Used to vibe with a couple niggas, that shit don't slap no more. Bitch, you won't kill me jamming that shit, it ain't real rap no more. Bitch, I came on shoot and see low, leave them see no on the flow. Nigga, think I'm about some buns, not them hennies in my coat. I don't smoke new posts, and niggas kill ass for sure, sure. Told y'all, play niggas to the left, and I'm raw on the Oh, Think about hopping up in that water, but bring your swimming shorts. I'm trying to truck a nigga off the cliff, dunk a nigga. Uh-huh. Shit too hard like a motherfucker bread. I'm popping that shit, not butter on ice. ice. All he had to do was support, not die supporting that motherfucker life. Yeah. Bride shine on nigga, just being myself. I ain't thinking about the motherfucker ice. Yeah. And I hit by the end of that shit. Little buddy, but the white would fuck he tight. For real, though. <laughs> yeah. Thinking about the motherfucker ice. Yeah. Put your piss ass on ice, nigga. Y'all tough ass internet, nigga. Yeah. Son David, nigga. Huh? Slip them Miss Parker's thing. <laughs> GG. Ma. Bitch, I smash, don't be playing by that bad hoe clip, getting thrashed. You gon' make a nigga like me run into your ass. They be asking one I'm from, home fresh off North Crack. And I still got that skill, keep me running up a stack. They fucked up your big brother, get your boyfriend slap. Hope you know I ain't scared of nothing, ain't no more fucking cap. You know they serving hoes all day, put hella we get paid. He through shade, but I can't fuck his bitch, she look like Flavor Flav. Taylor made, but I don't do Jays, it's backwards all day. And we will pack a nigga for a price, my small pay. Bitch, I pray every day that I make it out that office. He a lying in the sand, now I dab, beat the cross. I been running up on bullets, mister, hit you in your shit. I don't give a fuck, who he is, bitch, he pretty bitch. Fuck the hype, I don't like a nigga, you like Shit. If I had my way, I promise pussy nigga won't exist Got bill money, lawyer, I don't retain a case, I ready to smith Ancestors fuck with me, I won't put them in the mix Straight up, let's get to the book, never lay it up If I'm up, I can show you love, this shit way it up Better hit the point, bet you won't miss Bet I won't quit, bet they be a hit, bet I'm on my shit You know me, that's a man, young bad on the track Got my son on the tag so you know the bitch is smash Don't be playing by that bad hoe clip Getting thrashed You gon' make a nigga like me Run into your ass They be asking one from home Fresh out North Crest And I still got that skill Can me run another fact They fucked up your big brother Get your boyfriend slapped Hope you know I ain't scared of nothing Ain't no motherfucking cap Wait, whoa, ain't no stop on my career Your baby that broke for the fuck nigga's hey. dead Bitch, let the state, you will go fed That came with that back, that's ain't back on your head I'm gonna be like some juicy pile of pack. Fuck it, that bitch is back. Fuck it, bitch, in that pack. I love it. And I'm with this bitch. Fuck it, on him getting D. He bugging. Had an 
fuck you, nigga. Cause you know what I'm talking about, hoe had to turn into a pussy. Twenty four seven, young baby, hit the block, hit firm, I ain't got to get cut. When the sun come up to the beat, go down, I'm sitting no around, man, fuck all the struggles. If I can't get paid, this shit get niggas. I'm sitting no packs, and them bitches must be sick as fuck. I got me some gloves, I love me some blood, but now I'm testing. Unless I'm stuck, sit down in the wood, I break it down good. Well, hey, y'all, listen, we on the subject. I'm on that shit all day, told you two bites, so nigga. I've been running, 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 running up a bag. You know me, David Matt, young bad on the track. Got my son on the tag, so you know the bitch is smash. Don't be playing by that bad hoe, click, getting thrashed. You gon' make a nigga like me run into your ass. They be asking where I'm from, home first, I know I crack. And I still got that skill, keep me running up the fast. Then fucked up your big brother, get your boyfriend slapped. Ho, you know I ain't scared of nothing, ain't no motherfucking cap.
Yeah, I'm about to get the fuck up out of here, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of y'all here for the night after this one. We'll slide. And I'm a motherfucking that bus life OG is doing his job. I think I'm in up laying my stupid ass down. Hop in the shower, my ass on down, man. I ain't got shit going on tonight. The weed is doing its job for me. I'm finna sleep real good, get up early in the motherfucking morning, and try to take over the world. I got a lot of catching up to do. Ah! Let's get to work, man. <laughs> Woke up hungry, so I ate my bag for breakfast. Now my chick stupid, think she built like she from Texas. She can shit street, dog. We don't do no flex. Staying on these niggas with an Amazon neck. Everybody spitting with a grudge, I hold them close like I care about it. One for the money, two for the show, three for my dogs in the mall getting dope. Give my brothers everything, haters love with zero. If you wanna see bro, what you pay with me for? I be in my lane chilling, then here they go. Go make me your villain, cause I ain't your hero. Whoa. Chin up, chest side, tap in, tap out, fit cheek, breast side, flex up, stretch out. Who winning? Who spinning? I'm smiling, I'm grinning. Who saving? I'm player. These hunters, them pennies. Who told these nigga? Come for me, that's foolish. I told these nigga, don't play. I'm stupid. I'm eager, still hungry. I'm serving. Who want it? They hate it. What's that? That paper? I'm on it. They sleeping. I can't. I'm chasing. Big bang. I'm balling. You wait. They'll be okay. I think. Nah, I ain't conceited, I just recognize my rank And I grow my own shit, so I'm proud that it stank uh, Steady blowing dank tonight, I skipped the drink uh, Send a call from yesterday, pour that shit down the sink Hey, you can bet I'm on that gas, I keep a full tank Lately, I'm doing everything, them pussy niggas said I can't This flow ready to eat, these bars for everybody Spitting with a grudge, I hold them close like I care about it One for the money, two for the show Three for my dogs in the mall getting dope. Give my brothers everything. Haters love with zero. If you wanna see growth, what you play with me for? I be in my lane chillin', then here they go. Don't make me your villain, cause I ain't your hero. Whoa. Right back in the mix, back with a lot of hit. I put your team on strike, bitch. I'm all but never miss. Huh. Me and Ty G with the shorts, yeah. Night it, bitch, out the park. Keep it trippin', bitch. Don't start on your nigga. Got too much heart. Grind every time that set us apart. Ain't nothing like me, that nigga Mark. Iron number like Tony Stark. Spin dope, you a bag of starch. Grab a cold, I'm too cold with the art. I be playing dumb, these hoes think they smart. Fuck a moon like I shine in the dark. Keep the toaster for pop tarts. This one might be on pop tarts, and I promise, dog, I ain't trying. Be hard, cause your boy made it, and I'ma kill a bitch at time. Okay. Ain't trippin' on shit, long my brother clean in that bitch I'm a ball like that nigga here and your grandma get hit Nah, for real, fuck you mean Tell your auntie I say hey I be standing on your porch Ask your mom that she won't play Fuck you mean, nah, for real It's your boy your David Day Had to switch the flow for real Cause the boy try stay this way so ready to eat These bars for everybody Spittin' with a grudge I hold them close like I care about it One for the money Two for the show Three for my dogs in the mall getting dope. Give my brothers everything. Haters love with zero. If you wanna see growth, what you play with me for? I be in my lane chillin', then here they go. Don't make me your villain, cause I ain't your hero.